Hallo. Hallo, hallo. Je oké, okay, Blam? I'm good, you? Oké.
there. We are ready now. All right, let's go. Well, oh. Welcome, King K. Hello. Mozilla, you can go back to YouTube stream if you want. Up to you. You can be anywhere you want to be. Now you're going to make me feel bad? We, it's, it's it's okay, Mozilla. We know where your heart lies. We don't we don't hate you for it. It's all fine. I I, I can handle fine. King K on my own. We just we just say <laughs> we just say I left because King K joined. Yeah, yeah, you raised That's gonna be the story. <laughs> yeah, officially, I'm just your replacement. You know. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Bye. See we you love you wherever you are. Thank you. All right. Let's see. This game is probably. Uh, these games is the Showmakers Cup, so it's going to be way more competitive than yesterday, which I love to watch. Uh, seeing a Shen band, which is pretty common in comp right now, Varus as well. And probably we we may maybe see a lot of Lee Sin, Kha'Zix, Avalon bands because it's uh, PIY in jungle. That's usually what people ban against him because this guy might be one of the best junglers in Europe. Are you trying to tell me, King K, that new new band is not competitive? <laughs> How should I how should I tell you? <laughs> Without uh, hurting hurting feelings. <laughs> no feelings won't be hurt, but yeah, like you said, it's a lot more competitive today than it was yesterday, and you can already see it in the band drafts already. Yasuo is a bit of a weird one there. I mean, I don't know if someone's gonna go tank Yasuo uh, within this best of five, but the Fiora band coming through, I mean you potentially gonna be seeing like a Hecarim, maybe like Camille come through as well, depending on who is going to get the priority pick on blue side? Blam? Yes. Am I just lagging? Because mm -hmm. it still says starting soon on Twitch. Maybe you, it's just you me. Are... I am lagging. Okay. No, you're Good not. to know. I'm lagging. It's the, it's clear that the can of monster just isn't helping today. So. Oh, bless you. What his helping is the fact that I guessed a ban right. So Hecarim ban coming through as a third ban on the side of Red Team. Um, <laughs> but with the likes of the Kaiser, uh, Camille are still up and running. Uh, I mean, why would you go for a Kaiser over a Camille prior pick, to be fair? Baron Lane is pretty much sorted. Especially we saw last time, we saw them flex to Camille a lot. It could also be Camille jungle. We do know that, that PRI plays it a lot as well. He played it both games last series we saw him play. Pretty flexible pick, pretty broken champion and competitive still. Mm -hmm. Just having this 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 play timer whenever she has to ult up with like almost no counterplay is uh really, really strong right now and is strong for like three years now since the champion released. Yeah, it's it's crazy that like not much of the match has actually shifted since December, which is the last time I casted any kind of World of Tournament. It's, I mean, the Junso Pryo pick there in the jungle on the side of um, wait, who's on red team? Is it Miss? Is it Mystic? Fine girl from, from yeah, Mystic on the X and Zhao, known yeah. because Firebird is uh, pretty much a one trick, mm. um, okay. and he loves playing the champ, mm -hmm. so no surprise there. Galio probably going into Sora. Aatrox Kaiser is interesting. Kaiser has not seen that much as a biopic no. right now with the other AD carries being open. Depends Aatrox where, more. Yeah, it depends on where you get to the Kaiser form. I mean, for, well, just before last year, with most of the tournaments, Kaiser was sometimes sitting in that mid lane. So it could be Kaiser in the mid lane. We don't know yet. Um, we'll see how this draft flashes out on the blue side. And then obviously Vlad going for the third pick. Final pick within the draft phase one there. Yeah, if, if you blind pick that over here, I do think you have to ban Cassidy and Lucian because mm -hmm. both of these champions make the game close to impossible for Vladimir to play. Let's see if they do it. Actually, because right now, the, the Vladimir is pretty popular as well in comp. Cassidy and Rose in popularity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even though the champ usually is not known for being that good and competitive, but it's overall a very good champ right now. It being probably the best champion to Vladimir. <clears throat> As the, the freest lane. Daddy, daddy. Daddy, 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 daddy does. But we're seeing the blue team are going to be looking to ban more of those Baron lane picks because right now we can safely say that the Jinze is going to be in the jungle. Obviously, Galio more than likely going to be that support pick. And Vladimir potentially could be in the Baron lane. We have seen it. 
and we do see it quite often but i've got a feeling that's going to be the mid pick depending on how the rest of the draft bands out but there you go you were correct the band out at least one of those counter picks for vladimir and it's the lucian and the banning out the zaya aya Yes, the Jack Stan could also hint that it's a Camille top. Mm. The matchup is known for quite a long time that it's pretty good into Camille. Laning phase is still pretty all right, but the second both champions hit two items, the diet, the matchup gets favored into the Jacks a lot. Orn, Orn into Camille is a really really bad matchup for Orn. Mm -hmm. If it's actually the Camille top, it's a decent matchup into Aatrox though. Yeah, it's a bit of a mishmash in terms of the team comp there because, like, like you say, I mean, we saw a lot of Orn support, uh, like, to the wards the later latter end of last year as well. So, it could be Galio mid, Vlad in the Baron lane, could be Orn down in support. It's gonna be weird to see how this actually all fits in. Obviously, Brom can go nowhere else but support, so at least we know that one there. And then, obviously, this last pick on the side of blue is really going to decide where that Kaiser is going to sit within the draft. It's definitely going to be uh, if this Akali comes through. Okay. It, okay. Look, please pick the please pick the castle, and please just so I was right. He thinks about it. It's a bit of a risky pick because obviously the champ needs ages to scale. Mm. But it is okay. He goes for the safe pick, the Akali. The Akali still being one of the best mid laners in the game right now. Hasn't changed a lot. Absolutely. I mean, the Kali is pretty much tried and tested in terms of these competitive team comps, and sitting in that mid lane is definitely where she belongs. I think Zeri might be a good pick here in terms of countering the poke as well from the Kaiser, so being able to poke from quite a far distance, and then being able to actually clear those minion waves as well, but... Yeah, the Camille pick is really good. Uh, like you said about the Jacks, I think it was probably good for them to get the Jacks off the table because generally, if they if a team picks Jacks, they pretty much stay in the Baron lane for all the game and just try and run down that Baron lane as far as possible to the inimiter before joining any sort of team fights or jungle objective fights uh, with the team. But yeah, it's looking like the Orn is going to go up into the top lane and then Galio and Zeri down in the bot lane there. So we are now seeing it flesh out. And uh, yeah, we, like you said, the Orn into the Camille is a bit of a uh, interesting one. Hey, okay, let's see how the worlds turn out. We have... They are swapping a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping you guessing, King K. Keeping you guessing. Ba, ba, ba. Let's make sure I'm on the because right. Because Baguette Resort Court has some player issues, that means uh, they might be a bit uh, all around the place with the with the walls. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh. Does, that, does that mean that there's been an issue? Oh, okay. it, there's probably a remake, yeah, because they couldn't swap champs. We saw the we saw the Kaiser on Final Rex, and that's no matter what, probably not what's going to happen. All right, fast. So uh, they probably yeah. had to swap back. It's already a remake. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So we can like just yesterday. do blind pick. Blind pick. Mm -hmm. Same as yesterday, first game with a little with a little problems. We can blame uh, King K for that one. Yeah, it's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So tell us, King K, how did you get into your neighbor's house? What what tool did you use? Was the, was the knife effective, or did you have to pick something else? Yeah, it's like um, I got a, like I bought my all my stuff here on eBay, and I got like so many different knives yeah. that you can perfectly break into a house with. As you do, as and you I do. took That's like generally a, a solid purchase to get on yeah, eBay. We took like five different knives from like five different sizes. Mm -hmm. We had like a li really small one that's usually I think usually gets used to like cut vegetables or like uh, fruit, you know, like these small knives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with that, we like got into the lock, and we can like put put aside this little lock thing so the door opens. We sat there for like twenty minutes trying it, and my neighbor is not that sporty, so he was completely out of breath after he tried doing it for twenty minutes straight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny actually. <laughs> Someone cast but, exhaust uh, on your uh, neighbor. Yeah. 
And then he was like, oh, yeah, thank you for your help so much. Come come in, drink coffee, we eat. You know, he's, 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 he's from Turkey, so uh, these uh, people out of uh, Middle East and North Africa are and Turkey are pretty... I don't really know the English word for it. Like, if you help them, they have no problems inviting you there, yeah, inviting you to their home, yeah. give yeah, you yeah, food, yeah. hospital, yeah. He showed some great hospitality to me. And, like, uh, then we ate a little bit together, we drank a little bit together, had a little talk about what we do. Because I lived here for, like, two months. I didn't really meet my neighbors that mm -hmm. well yet. And, yeah. So do you live on your own, then? I live on my own, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm coming to break in your house with a uh, set of knives, then. <laughs> Just to surprise <laughs> you. <laughs> Who's that breaking into my Shout house? out to Falling Cat for moderating the chat on Twitch. I'm guessing Shay is asleep or fell asleep. <laughs> it's all those remakes. Oh, it looks like great. Monocon support. Wait. The problem is I'm always kind of confused of uh, Final Ranks and PMI having the same name. Mm -hmm. um, but it is probably Final X AD carry then I have no idea sorry <laughs> yeah it's final rate of PMI AD carry I saw PMI play a lot of AD carry mm. so it could also be PMI AD carry we will see we will see V well, for fine girl for Mysticon everything is expected the guy you went support the owner went top Kind of hard matchup to Camille, in my opinion. Is Carrot top uh, on this team? No, Carrot Cop is not playing. All oh, right, okay. I thought Carrot Cop was playing. Never mind. I sent you the updated list earlier. How does it work, Sam? Please forgive me. <laughs> I see these things get sent, and I, I, I... Do you know what the thing is. Uh, a little bit of feedback <laughs> on that, that order of event thing. Do you know the little, like, curvy thing in the left corner? On the actual graphic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a crack in my screen and I, my heart broke. <laughs> and then I minimized it and then I realized it was just the graphic. So a little bit of uh, feedback there. Just don't give me give me a heart attack <laughs> when those things come through, okay? On your new phone. Uh, yeah, crack on your new I, phone. Yeah, I would have died. Honestly, I, I think I'd be like, you know what? I'm not casting. I, I've just died. I've just died of a 1,200 pound phone. Thank you very much. Why have you got a new phone? What phone did you get? Uh, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finally, not an Apple abuser. Finally, someone with a good phone. <laughs> yeah, I have Apple as well, but I'm, I'm probably not going to have it for long. Right, okay, we've had it for a, a minuten, so we can actually zoom out. I think I've zoomed out already, because you're looking very micro. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see how this game will turn out. I like it a lot. We saw with the Baguette with Sorgo team that uh, they are very... Uh, very proactive team. Oh, already something happening here. Brom missed his Q. Success out probably gets out. Yes. Ooh. Bit of a waste of um, ignite there. But p perfectly, as I said, the start, I said that usually uh, Forget the Soccer is a pretty proactive team and we will see a lot, lot more action from both teams than we did yesterday. Especially from Forget the Sour Card side. A lot of action. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't see another action, though. Hey, no, bring him back. Bring him back with his uh, Dawnbreaker skin. I'll be very happy, boy. Either that or Aramis. Yeah, then... That'll make me happy. Mm. Good I think morning, the best Shay. Breaker... The best Dawnbreaker skin, in my opinion, is... Um... Oh, wait. Okay. Kaiser flashing. Ghost? She gets Let's the skill. Go. But she... Oh. Ah, <laughs> Galio with the flash ignite. Do not let the Kaiser execute. The Vroom also has to flash. Vladimir don't there. really has damage yet. Nah. I... He could do it though. Let's see. Do it. He's not oh, really yeah, ignite, well, okay. So there we go. He's got sprints and he's used his uh, flash, however. So a little bit bad to get rid of both of you some of the spells there just for the pickup of the Braum. But hey, any golds, a goal currently in that mid lane. He's got to try and find his way around the Akali pick as well. So fair play to uh, Lopak on the side. Another invade. Look, look at this. Exactly what I said. Herma fighting. 
And yeah. bucket Rasaka picking up one kill. And Akali gets out. Yep, perfectly what they like to see. That's some action, Phil. Let's go. Yeah, no more waiting that five-minute mark for any action to go up like we saw yesterday. No disrespect to teams, but we like to see a lot of action packed here. And uh, especially when it's super hype, hype, hype. Uh, in mm -hmm. terms of the these invades as well onto the enemy jungle, it's been really good so far on the side, on the blue side. I'm, I'm just going to call it BWS. I'm not going to say the... <laughs> The red sides team because it's just too long. I, I've I've had a long day at work. I'm not saying that name every time there is some sort of engage going on. It's Team Red now. Team Red, you've been reclaimed. Okay, knock up. I think the chat does not know, or do they know, that game one went to find girlfriend for Mysticon. So it's one zero now. Mm -hmm. Because BWS was late. So, Find Girlfriend for Mysticon has already one win. Yes, sir. Uh, my boomer fingers have typed into chat. There you go. All right. On BWS. I like it that it was it's not just random. On... Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, is, is it I like it that it was just not random and wait. And another invade starting. All for that blue. Trying to... All for the blue buff, and it does go over to the side of BWS. But Galio yeah, Galio gets getting... pulled in from the Aatrox. <laughs> getting caught out there, Jinzo, as well. Aatrox going in for the double kill. Wow. Can he manage to maintain the Sanguine Pool? Oh, wow. okay. Snipe from the Braum. Nicely done. If a Kai'Sa end bomb, Kai'Sa hits W to proc a passive. Him getting to, like, 1 HP, and then Braum just taking it I, I love these invades because it was just not just random invades they all the Kirsten's out got so low level one the, just this little thing snowballed so heavily since out being behind in camps Aatrox kind of can do whatever he wants look at Xenzao there again Aatrox is just waiting for him look at this and all the Kirsten's out got so low level one now it's hard to farm Oh, but they commit very hard topside. Camille looking to get onto Orn. Orn still has bomb passive on him. No E. I don't have the damage to kill him. Akali joining in as well now. Aatrox not there anymore, though. Kaiser and Zeri just battling out there. Sorry, Director Cam's decided to go down to the bot lane, but... Okay, okay, maybe we want to see that. Look. We... Uh, Direct yeah. Cam's clearly got a better vision than I have, so there we go. We should have stayed there and there because Zeri's just been picked off <laughs> in the... Ah, but look at it, Aatrox. <laughs> Aatrox being two levels ahead now. This Sinzao has no fun playing the game anymore. The guy living with one HP, but look at this Vladimir. He has no damage available yet. Look, no, he goes... He that, tries to... Oh, but I just said that he goes in. But look, yeah, Kali will kill him. He has no pool. He's out. Gaiu gets killed by Camille. Camille gets get killed by Orn. It's so much happening at the same time. Wow. What a fiesta, but actually a really fun to watch fiesta. I mean, no. I mean, a fiesta, it's a party, so a party's always fun. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, okay. Least... okay. The flash oh. coming from the Orn. Getting that kill onto the Akali. Oh. A double kill for Orn as well. What was Braum thinking? Monaco took a trip to Monaco, clearly. Yeah, probably Monaco just did not want to give the kill to Dixon Zhao and just decided to die to the Orn. Hey, what the, I mean, get, get Orn fed. He's a tanky boy. Oh, he's 1v3 right now. But Aatrox is Aatrox. We don't mm. forget that. Aatrox if they get Aatrox. one kill, it's Aatrox. Oh, Dixon Zhao got the Rift Herald. I think he flashes over with the new Hex Flash. He doesn't really have to channel it. But Akali hits his E and will probably get the Galio here. Orn also on his way to get killed. Now he's too tanky. He's too big of a tank boy now. Meanwhile, bot lane again. Is Zeri getting solo killed again? Mm, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Up but that maybe wave, on though. next wave. Oh. Isolated two auto attack should be enough for the Kaiser. Oh, oh. he gets a level up to Zeri. Ooh. But the W is just as W. Okay. Zeri having not a good getting 1v1 twice in a row now, and not mm. even that hard of a matchup, I think. No, yeah, I mean, it should be going not too... I mean, 
Kaiser's abusing right now, so it, it's definitely going in the favor of Kaiser. Is Zeri building blood first to first, or is that a different item that I have to see? Uh, That will be blood first, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah even that matchup is favored from, for mm -hmm. Zeri at level 5 yeah. onwards, mm -hmm. but sadly she got, just at her timer where she gets into the driving seat, she got solo killed, and from then on it's obviously kind of doomed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because it's kind of impossible one be running a Zeri with ult, because Zeri ult gives her so incredibly much more damage than most other AD carries at that point in the game. Yes, sir. We've seen that heart steel Galio that we saw yesterday, but it's not in the mid lane. It's in support where it's meant to be. And you see we a potentially bot. seeing, yeah, the bot lane turret's going to fall there. And then there goes the Galio as well. Aatrox just getting started <laughs> with the help of Braum and Camille. Camille going in. Hextech ultimatum onto the Jin Zhao. Jin Zhao's going down again. Can this be a triple kill? No? Okay. Is that a double kill for Camille there? No, just a kill up for no. Camille. Vladimir's still there, though. He's I don't still know why Camille's dead. There we go. Brilliantly played. Wow. I, I said, this, this, I, I love to see these kind of games. They see their ahead, they know their strengths, and they use their strengths to the fullest. No waiting for objective. If you know you're stronger and you want to fight, they will force the fight. And even if it's un between your tier 1 and tier 2 on both side, they do not care. 5k gold lead already in 8 minutes for Team Baguette with Sauerkraut. The Baguettes are getting filled with the Sauerkraut. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think that's a good combination. Like, Hey, if you like soggy bread, I'm sure I'm sure it's not too bad. <laughs> I for but one, who I'm likes not... soggy bread? Yeah, honestly. Is like... that some British thing again? No, 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 no. It's definitely <laughs> not. Like, honestly, every part of my body dies. If, I, if any soggy bread, like, comes into contact with my mouth, I die. Like, spiritually, <laughs> physically, eternally, past and present tense, there. I die. Even though British food gets flamed a lot, I really like British breakfast. I mean, you can't really, we can't really, I mean, we try and claim it because we were very proud, but I mean, it, it, you can't really call sausage, bacon, and egg a British breakfast it's just breakfast isn't it you know and, I mean? beans. and beans and nah, beans german breakfast is just bread okay. <laughs> like bread with stuff on it that's german breakfast so like the beans and the the bacon is a lot of variation compared to german you know it's pretty different i've been living in england for five years and i still don't get the beans i swear to god you don't oh, like i actually didn't get it beans. at all Oh, okay, not the fight approaching an enemy blue buff. Oh, okay. And at this Guys point, still going off. could Jin Zhao go down? No, he's clutching straws there. Shay, you're right. Blam only likes chicken nuggets. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm a very cultured person when it comes to food. I love all kinds of food. Caribbean is my favorite. Caribbean? My favorite is Moroccan, but it's probably a bit. Because I am half Moroccan, right? What What is a Moroccan dish? Uh, you know, couscous. Okay. But not like the thing we get in Europe, not like the salad. In Europe, you mostly get like mm -hmm. a salad type couscous. Okay. It's like actually like a warm dish. Mm -hmm. It's like a giant plate and the whole family sits around it and eats it together. Okay. Oh, guys are like getting this engaged whole on again. This team is going to be sat around and eating Galio there and potentially Jin Zhao for dessert. There Jin we Zhao go. Jin farming his seventh Zeri death in a row. The for the third course, we could potentially get a Zeri takedown here as well. Look nice at this Aatrox damage! Oi, 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 oi. Not gonna lie. Back at the Soul Crowd, did. We're not scared of the one Trigong Zhao, and now perfectly sure why. This guy is 0 and 7 with less gold than with the same gold as their support. He gets stomped by this Aatrox. This Aatrox is 10,000 gold. He's 1k gold per minute in a competitive game. This guy is playing solo queue right now. Hey, uh, just because, I mean, this is just addressing somebody in chat. Just because I'm British doesn't mean I sound like Stu. <laughs> we have two different accents. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Stu sounds not. I think Blam sounds even more British than Stu does. No, First no. Stu's yeah, from London. You, 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 no, every, no, no, no. Everybody no. knows people like people who don't know British people just think that everyone sounds like they're from London. I sound like I'm no, 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 from you, London. 
No, you don't sound like Northern, but I think you sound even more British. No, like no, more, no, 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 more no. cliche British. No. Yeah, you do, Blam. Don't, 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 don't say that. What's, what's what, cliche? What, 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 what's what? cliche British to you? What cliche British to you? Yeah, what is exactly it? that? What you just said. That what you just said. Exactly that. <laughs> is that cliche British? <laughs> I don't get it. It's oh, Blam. You... Say the word butter. Butter. That's German. <laughs> butter. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I say yeah. butter. Yeah. Yeah. Not butter. Yeah, or or water. Water. Like people, yeah. Like, okay, people yeah, from, like people from that London. That everyone do. in Britain says, you know, that's like. No, I say water. Doesn't matter if you're from London. I say water. 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 Yeah, fair enough. But I'm looking for excuses now. I'm, I'm looking for a way out of this typical British that I've been claimed to be. But there we go. A lot of kills <laughs> being claimed here within. Are Carly the going in one v four? But the guy's actually starting to deal damage to Orn at this point. Oh, the guy's stop again. Oh, Zeri looking pretty low, having to force out of there. Galio is taking a lot of damage thanks to that heart steal, but goes down thanks to Aatrox. The godlike Aatrox already running at 11 2. They're looking to 2v1 Camilla. Aatrox ulting in with a billion movement speed <laughs> and looking to give Cesar with his eighth death in a row without getting a single kill. Oh, nice double kill there. And Aatrox looking into the base? Okay, never mind. Why not? Why not? He's, he's already stacked with 13 kills. He may as well just go into the base. Yeah, like he's so incredibly strong. 25 kills to 9. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, this game is going to be very hard to get back to. It's 11, 12k goals mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in 30 minutes. Like 1k goal per minute. Team Baguette was so awkward gets ahead. So this is going to be a real rough run. Not even contemplating doing the other dragon as well. That it's like, you know what? We don't need Ice Dragon. We don't even need the Mountain Soul for this. We're just going to... Just keep having a little mosey with the enemy. Which I really like. If I, Because in the time you do the Drake and you mm -hmm. prepare a Drake, they will just get the free CS, get the free farm on the map. But you never need this Drake. You never need the soul. It's just that easy to... Uh, like, for them being so fed, it's just that easy to snowball out the rise mm -hmm. with way, way more aggressive plays. And that's exactly what they're doing. Is that Nash's tooth that Zeri's building next? Uh, no, it is... Um, do not Terry came. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to put that item into it. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Which oh, I think Vladimir. is the best item for Zeri here. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're getting away, slaughtered in the their own base. Pool. Down goes the Inhibi in the top lane. Galio taking still but a the, lot of damage, but still manages the to fall Aatrox down got there. shut down. Oh, no. I mean, they've got the get. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vladimir cleaning up a little bit here. Takes Vladimir. down the Kaiser as well. Braum and Akali are on the run, but double kill for Vladimir in the jungle there. Yeah, Team Baguette with Sarko was maybe a bit too ballsy there. Thought they, they were completely in enemy base. Pause. But I think I, I think Team uh, Tank Government won't really find anything for it. Maybe the Drake, just because it's an objective shutdown. But it's already too late for that, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. So, like... Oh, Camille? Well, I think they've got to do something with that know. farm lane minion wave, though. I mean, to be fair, it's very, very pushed in the barren lane. But it's looking meaty down there in the farm lane as well. Mm-hmm. The farm lane. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Oh, my God. I've, I've clearly been playing... <laughs> oh, I've been casting too much Hawk. I said Crystal yesterday, yeah. and she was like, it's the Nexus. I was like, no, of course it is. The one I'm still yet to say is the high ground turret, which is the inhibitors, but oh my gosh. My the bad. high ground turret. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> me, can you she play can me? That's, being... that's basically my January, February, and March has been. It's just been studying Hawk, so you can't blame me. I can blame you. You can't. I can blame you. <laughs> you can't blame me. Okay. I can blame you as much as I want, Blam. You're not allowed. It's a paid for service. <laughs> I pay you like 30 quid a minute to cast this. I can blame you as much as possible. Uh, I, I, well, this is new. <laughs> this is new. Okay, we can we can work on this. 
All right. They should just force a hard fight on that oh, outside jungle now at this point. With the Camille. <clears throat> They might just die, to be honest. They are so strong. They want to force this fight. They want to fight this. Go on, minions. Take that bot to bot to it. Well done. Well done. You got this. You got this, minions. Minions are the true MVP there. They're clearly carrying it for the side of the red. Oh, are they going to try and steal the Baron Nasher here? We got Jin Zeb going over the, the wall. Oh! In. <gasps> yeah, did they get it? They got they it. Get, they, they got, got it. it. They <laughs> stole it. And they're winning the fight. <laughs> what an upset. This is what happened Holy yesterday. Shit. And I'm pretty sure it was Red Team that was stealing the Baron Nashes from the blue side as well. And Vladimir is not done yet. He takes down the uh, the Akali. Oh, Wait, that might be. Is that a finish? It could be. I mean, min the minion waves there and there, but they've got to stop the again. The side lanes need to be reclaimed okay, on no. the side of Red Team. The next minion wave needs too long, but wow! Like everything I just talked about, how hard it's going to be to come back. Just all. Flat it was caster curse, I think, because I think this game was so much in the back. And you know, all the 11k gold lead shrink to like a 2k gold lead, and even it's going to be completely neutralized after they take these turrets. That was just a 12k gold swing in like three minutes. That's incredible. I've never seen that before. Absolutely incredible. I mean, the thing that could really be the cherry on top here for Red Team is picking up that Elder Dragon uh, going into this fight. Galio trying to get that torn. He loses a little bit too early. A little bit premature there from the Galio, but the minion waves are <laughs> coming through strong in the... F I was about to say Clash Lane. The Baron Lane there from the minions. So that's wide open. That could be an interesting factor into this Elder Dragon fight currently is that minion wave that Galio has had to be forced back to clear up. But I mean, why would you take Galio out of this fight when they can get somebody a bit faster to clear the wave and go in? But they're still committed to take, try and take Wait, it. They, they do. The oh, okay. Elder Dragon goes over the red team. Down goes the Akali. It's already a 2-0 trade for red side here. Kaiser's got to be careful. So does Camille. Everyone's gone back. This could be troublesome for BWS. I will not lie, this might have been the biggest throw I have ever seen in my competitive history. This is because you called me British. I am British, but not yeah. typically British, and this is what happens. I've cursed you. I've cursed BWS. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, like, I don't know. That's actually one of the... I, I think I've never seen such a big turnover in gold. Oh, yeah, a huge turnover. I mean, what were they? There was like 6k behind previously. No, they I mean, were 13k behind. Okay, 13,000 okay. gold. And potentially a finish here with only two people keeping themselves alive is the Kaiser oh, the and the Aatrox. But, oh, nice status coming through for the Aatrox having to flash out from the Vladimir so he doesn't proc the Elder Dragon buff to clear out the Aatrox. But still, good effort here from the Vladimir and Jinzao looking to push that Baron Lane all the way to the second tier. But decides to call it there is clearly not being paid he's a minimum wage worker who doesn't want to do any more than what he's <laughs> paid for because he just left the, left the minion wave there and thought you know what well, I'll just leave it there forget it it's too much effort I don't get paid for this wow actually what a game Elder Drake stopping in like tra the 20 seconds mm. so then the then the playing field is completely even again. Both teams being same gold, and the Nash fight coming up. Nash, and Nash. this fight probably will decide the game now. The oh, team yeah. that wins this fight will do win the game because both would have waves to finish with. Blue mm -hmm. side has top wave, red mm -hmm. side has mid wave. That's so it. this is going to be a decision now. It's the final countdown. Fine girlfriend for Mystic on team has a lot on the on the line. Lopak yes. needs to win this because he lost season one of the Rift Guys <laughs> tournament. He needs to win this, and then number two, they need to win this because they need to find a girlfriend for Mystic on. Yeah. <laughs> if we got any runners up yet for uh, uh, Mystic girlfriend yet? Has anybody come forward to claim that title? 
please create a ticket at the zoo server. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, for I, the applicant. I could put a wig on and be his girlfriend if he wins this. I mean, what better than a British burly boy to be your girlfriend? <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure if Camilla wins this with Triforce. Oh god, they're all joining in bot. Watch they Mr. Wanna, Khan they throw this now. He's like, yeah, I'm not having with my him. girlfriend. Wow. Actually, great pick. Well done. Red team not being ready to do the Nash with three people bot. And now they it's they can force a 4v5 fight on Nash. And the only way for red side to win this is to steal it again. <laughs> Let's mm. see if that actually happens. I mean, the Akali's still out of the equation because they're looking for another push, another inhibitor to uh, the name of the blue team. But it looks like they are going to start the Nash and only Galio, but Jinzo now does come around as well. The faithful stealer of the first Nash. Could he do it again? Camille no, might Camille just be able to ult him, yes. Into the back line. Oh, okay. Knocked back from the Jinzo, but is that going to be enough? Galio going in with the ultimate onto Jin. But down goes that smite holder there. Is that even flashing Oh, any? nicely done. Aatrox does pick it up, however. <gasps> and this is going to be Akali clean. gets him. Akali with the perfect execution. Kills the bloody made the biggest threat out of finding Gurfa from a stick on Steam. And I think they may just be able to finish with bot wave here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's that bot wave. They are rocking it around. It is only Orn and Zeri alive. And the next few people to come back up is a good 20 seconds or so. I think this is going to be the 1-1 one, one that BWS needed. They are focusing the Orn. Orn is still already pretty low, but Aatrox is having to focus that turret because if they don't, they lose, but they get the second game Nexus. Okay, wow. I thought, not gonna lie, I thought after 12 minutes, this game is completely done, so. And it's just gonna be a storm for Bugget with Sauerkraut, but... Fine Girlfriend Wincom actually turned it back, but in the end, Bugget of Sauerkraut still prevailed with a great pick on the Orn into a great play at Baron, not, not risking the flip this time. And finally, I think it deserved win for Bugget of Sauerkraut, but still a wonderful game from... Uh, from Fine Girl for Mysticon, with turning back this game, which I thought was close to impossible, they actually pulled it off. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Vlad pick, Vladimir pick was really good towards the uh, mid to late game there, uh, picking up a few of yes. those kills, especially when they got the Elder Dragon and the Nasher as well, almost finishing the game if it wasn't for the uh, Aatrox and the Akali on the side of BWS at the, the Nexus. And uh, rightfully so, the Aatrox getting the MVP also, but it's just that 60k damage. On the Kaiser's cracked. But I mean, to be fair, Vlad was only down by like 900. Let's, if we rounded it up, rounded it down, it's about like 900 gold, 900 damage difference, which is huge. Yeah, 100%. All right. What a exciting game one, actually. I like it. Game two. Game two. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Game. It, it was a game one. Game one got FF'd. FF'd onto the side of Girlfriend for Mysticon. Girlfriend for Comic Con. <laughs> I would like a girlfriend that goes to me to, with me to Comic Con. Actually, a bit of gold, if I'm not wrong. That, that's words to the wise for chat. Girlfriends aren't just for Comic Con, they're for life. Okay? Nah, depends. Unless you're a player like Karim. <laughs> uh, oh, Blam. You should have been here yesterday. Why? It was... I was here yesterday. What are you on about? Nah, but I mean the, the party I went to yesterday. Oh, there was a, okay. It was a blast, my you friend. Mean, it was a mean, blast. You mean a fiesta? A fiesta. A siesta. <laughs> I would like to still say that to the chat i was correct everyone was saying i was wrong that the <laughs> siesta was a party i was correct it is a nap it may be a party for naps but it is still a nap thank you very much yeah but who do, who has a word for a nap and calls it the same as a party almost like me make my nap seem more interesting. no no not you you did not invent that word i did i'm british yeah but the word is not british it is now. I've claimed it. I claimed it my own. That's not how it works, Vahem. 
It does. You know, that I, I know the British like to play different cultures to themselves, <laughs> but... <laughs> Reference the Spanish Inquisition, that's all I'm saying. If I'm not wrong, the British Empire was the one that uh, invaded the most countries. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Why do you think Canada still has a picture of our Queen? Still hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's, it's, uh, Rip, Australia Rip, is still Rip, kind of Rip, a part Queen of you, Lizzie. so... Rip Queen Lizzie, respect. Rest in peace. My Lizard Queen. Give me one second, I'll get something to drink right before the next game starts. Get hydrated, get hydrated, lads. All right, back in business. Get, got myself some, a little bit of iced tea. Ah. Refreshing. You've got iced tea just to spite me, haven't you? Hear him. <laughs> uh, I love iced tea. It's like is it just the normal? best what and one of is the. It? Uh, it is. Uh, it is the thing you can like mix yourself. You know, it's like these little. In Germany, we have like these little things. Mm -hmm. It's like they, they, um, and you can just mix the iced tea yourself. You just put them in, put cold water in it, and then it's iced tea. This one is. Um, Wildberry, I think. Wildberry for Wild Rift? Yes, sir. That's the sole reason I got Wildberry. Not because it's by far the best iced tea ever. Nah, you can't beat the OG. Lemon. I, I really like lemon. I like I even like lemon more than I do, like, peach. See, so, but... yeah, pe peach is, like, B tier, I think. Yeah, I, I think... Iced tea, peach iced tea is the iced tea I go for when there's no other iced tea available. Yeah. It's not, like, awful, but it's not, like, very good either. Like, it's... I would put, like, same as you, peach B tier, uh, lemon A tier, but wildberry S tier, actually. That's how much I like it. No, um, I'd probably say... I don't know. I reckon lemon's still S tier for me. I think everything but peach is S tier. So lemon, raspberry... Um, we actually have we have apple here in Germany. Apple, yeah. I mean, I don't think I've ever tried it. I reckon that'd be quite actually quite refreshing. Whereas the peach one, mm -hmm. back to my point on the peach iced tea, mm -hmm. is that it doesn't actually even hydrate you. I swear, it just dries out your mouth. I don't know how a liquid can dry yes. out your mouth, but peach iced tea manages to take that crown with pride. I completely agree. Like, peach actually feels like when you're drinking it. That you like lose water in your system. I don't mm -hmm. know how it's possible, but yeah. it's actually feel, it doesn't feel that refreshing. It feels more like it tastes good, but it doesn't feel as refreshing as lemon does. Or other. Oh, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Let's, uh, do. Mm -hmm. Okay, but with such an exciting game one, I, I'm or like game two. I'm very excited to see how this game, how these games will continue. Maybe it was just a little luck from um, Team Fine Girl from Mysticon, or they are the masters of coming back, and I think they have to put in their best to beat as, such a strong team as Baguette with Sauerkraut, who finished third in the last Purge tournament. So probably the third best team in Europe, if you look at it like that. No, they even finished second. They finished second, my bad. 
They even beat VLG in uh, in losers bracket final. So this is probably the second best team in Europe. And for um, Fight Girl from Isticon competing that well is impressive. Pleasantly surprised. Guys, mm -hmm. can you mute me real quick? Because I just need to tell you something. Umblem, can you mute stream real quick? Yeah, one sec. Uh, Muted. One sec, one sec, one sec. No, you are, yeah. You are now. Okay. Yeah.
Hello? Hello? Do, do, do. Uh, I'm always ready. Okay, there we go. I am RD. <clears throat> Anyway, All right, let's get into game two. Before our uh, discussion on iced tea was uh, rudely interrupted, uh, Shay says, Blam, lemon iced tea is the only way. I mean, it is a great way, but it's not the only way. Yes. I know. <clears throat> In my opinion, I know I, a lot of people will not like me for saying this. I think iced tea is superior to, than just normal tea drinking it cold. You know what I mean? Like... Again, it's one of those, so put into perspective, it all depends on the time. So there's nothing better than a nice warm tea, say, for example, before bed in winter, whereas there's nothing more refreshing than an iced tea in summer. You know what I mean? You're not going to go and drink an, an iced tea in a blitzing cold day to make you even like colder internally, okay. unless you hate yourself. Um that's when you drink a nice cup of warm tea. But be, if, you, if you're being smart, if you drink cold drinks when it's cold outside, your body will warm itself will warm itself up. If you drink warm stuff when it's cold outside, you, your body actually cools down because eternally it gets wa so warm that the body thinks it needs to cool down. Yeah, well, science doesn't play into this. Tea, you <laughs> should know this. Tea completely overrules science. There is no science to tea. Tea yeah. dominates all. Uh, and, and then like, you're telling and, me and, you're not typical British. And like Shay says, I'm not taking advice from a man drinking wildberry powdered iced tea. <laughs> it's good. It's good wildberry powder, okay? Oh, powder, mate. Oh, my God. It's not really powder. Come on. It's more like wildberry powder. <laughs> bird food. Bird food. That's even worse. Yeah, but it looks like a bit like bird food, you know? Like these little... Do you even know what I'm talking about, Blam, when I'm talking about this 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 tea you can make yourself? I assume it's like loose leaf, if it looks like bird food then. Right, I I, I show you a picture. Okay. It's called Krümeltee in German. Krümeltee. Krümeltee. Yeah, Krümel look at it. Right. Sounds like cruelty. And that definitely sounds correct. If you're drinking powdered iced tea, that sounds cruel to the actual culture of iced tea. Uh, speaking of tea, let's look at the draft here. So Lee Sin, Fiora, and Aatrox all banned on the side of Girlfriend. And then on the side of w uh, BWS, so we have the Vladimir, Yumi, and Shen ban come through again. They pick up the Orn again as well. Renekton this time up in the Baron lane potentially. And they do pick up the Kaiser once again for themselves. But, oh, okay. So Girlfriend picks up Lucian. And the Camille, but stick with the Brawl. For now, I really like uh, Frank Girl from Mysticon's draft. I think they like got like a great counter pick from Orn into the Brawl. I mean, from Brawl into the Orn. They get the Camille, which I still think is the best champion in the competitive. And they get Lucian, an incredibly strong mid laner right now. Also a good AD carry. Plus, a uh, great synergy with the Brawl. By pocking his passive almost instantly with his passive. Will be Dabla. Also, Braum being good into Renekton as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that Hecarim ban. A little bit later than game two, but it comes through anyway, as well as the Akali. I think the Akali ban's pretty smart because the, uh, the Akali pick was really good in that last game especially in terms of trying to negate the early game to mid game vladimir there but nonetheless the vladimir actually did really well on that one and, and you can see why it was banned on the side of bws and then the which i really tested. see what i like is that 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 Frank of Wicca actually did some um did some research with the any mm -hmm. because any was a pick heaven played in, in in Purge, probably the only one in Europe that plays that champ, and really smurfed on it mm. every game he played it. Well, the the Annie came out yesterday and it did really well. Um, I forgot which team picked it, but it played very very well. Mm -hmm. 
Golden Dawn, the champions. Oh yes, oh yes. Thank you. The voice out of nowhere. Like, honestly, that scares me the most. It, it feels like a uh, like a, 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 a jump scare. Just I completely forget sometimes that Sam's there. <laughs> it's just me, King K, and then all of a sudden the voice comes out of nowhere. It's like Golden Dawn. It's like, ah! <laughs> Cook says like it's the voice in my ear talking to me. Yeah, literally, it's like it is literally that. It's like an, an like a narrate a narrator. You finally hear the narrator of your life, and it just comes out of nowhere. Would love to see the Lucian mid and just put the Karma or Ziggs, whatever they want to do on bot. I think Lucian mid is a lot stronger right now than Lucian on the ADK position. I think he loves taking the EXP, he loves being the soul carry. Mm. And uh, having him in mid lane gives him a lot more options to use his early game strength as well. It does. We see a lack. We've got a lack of AP on the side of. Uh, girlfriend for Mr. Khan as well, though. We've got the only real AP they've got is the Karma there. Yeah, if it's going to be a Karma AP carry, I think that is enough AP. If it's actually just Karma bot and she goes full AP, which is probably happening if it's Kar uh, because I still think it's better to put the Karma bot in the Lucian mid. The mm, own goes down into the support role this time with potentially. I don't think it's going Surely it's not going to be Kai to go against Lu Lucian in mid, maybe? Jace jungle, maybe? Um, could be. I mean, if you've just come from an Aatrox in the jungle, generally you see the Jace jungle come, pick come through as well. I've seen, I noticed that quite a bit. Because again, it's just another a champion you can build uh, lethality with and just do a lot of damage. Um, I could be wrong though. I mean, it could be Renekton in the jungle, but I mean, why would you do that? They did get buffed this patch, if I'm not wrong. I guess I, Andres had play, played the Renekton in jungle, didn't he? Yep, there we go. Oh, it's the Renekton jungle. Renekton. To answer Blank's tech. question, this is best out of five. So it's not the last game. Yeah. I, I thought you said Blam's question there. I was like, hang on. So, I, don't, I don't remember Blank. asking that. Blankety blank. Right, let's pause for the Minuton and uh, let's see if there's any zesty runes there. Glacial Augment on the Lux as well as the Orn. Ooh, a bit weird. Weird to see, yes, I do agree. Instead of Electrocute or First Strike, especially in terms of damage, but hey ho, that's why they're competitive players and I'm not. So, Whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm going to switch these guys around because they don't know how to do it. How do they get dressed in the morning? I'm not too sure. <laughs> there we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. They're in order. And us British do like order. British do like order. Order, order. <laughs> Right, it's only been 30 yeah, except that for the normal runes for every other champion. Seeing Lux of Glacial Augment actually my first time seeing this. Uh huh, uh huh. Maybe they just Pretty interesting to it. see. Let's see how it works out. Mm. Do people normally go Kraken Slayer on the Kaiser? Uh, yeah. All oh, right. I thought it was normally like Conqueror or um, Electrocute. It's mainly to like be stronger in lane mm -hmm. because. Um, uh, Conqueror and Kraken Slayer are both, I mean, Conqueror and Lethal Tempo are pretty useless in the lo into the Lucian lane, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You will never have long enough fights to do that. We do see level 1 with Braum again, really strong level 1 from blue side. And Orn is phase checking. But the Braum Q missed, but well, like hit, and he's a bit too greedy with not flashing. I... A bit too greedy, he could have just flashed. Mr. Lopak coming with the bang bang from the Lucian there. But like you said, nice phase check from the Braum. But we saw that play happen. Well, it, it didn't quite happen the way elegantly it did the second time around. But last game, they tried to do that. They didn't quite pick up the kill. But they did, however, invade the enemy jungle and pick up the kill. Um, but it was blue side. So it seems to be like a blue side thing because last time it was BWS who did that. Whereas this time, 
girlfriend from Mysticon was like, you know what? Let, let me show you how to do that effectively. And that's what they did. What I want to say is this is Lux top lane. Weird. Super weird, guys. I mean, it might might not well be for the long game. Because, I mean, Jace might rotate around into the Camille. I don't think the Camille can... I mean, I don't think the Lux can really last against the Camille. Unless you have impeccable landings of your Q. But speaking of impeccable, impeccable damage onto the Orn in the mid lane there. This time he flashes as well. Oh, look at the Lux and the Camille. Lux really overextending there. Mm. But Camille not having the damage yet to kill Lux. Now it's the exact opposite now. Uh, Fangirl from Mysticon is the one permanently invading. Using the strong Lucian Braum Ooh. in the early game. Oh, Damn. no, not enough. Oh, right. oh wait, what the, okay, the Jay's coming in from the bot side. But now also Camille joining in. No ultimate or any team available yet since our level 4. Because I'm knocking up the Lux. Huge there. No snipe from the Jace coming through. Very little mana left on Jace. But we're very well played there by Girlfriend for Mysticon, though. Really well played. Yes. Especially these, these engages, uh, these invades, sorry, are going a lot better on the side of Girlfriend for Mysticon than they were for BWS last game. Guys, we have good news. <gasps> the narrator speaks, yes. The chillest Baron laner is coming. Okay. The what, what, what? The chillest Baron laner is coming. Our favorite Baron laner is on his way. Oh, oh, Tatsu. Okay, I thought you meant those swapping mid-game. I was like, what's going on here? Somebody's like sat next to one of the players like, yo, give me your phone. Let me play. You're being invaded too much. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm looking for an engagement to the bomb. Doesn't nothing really happening. But I said I really love that they use this as the strong Lucian mid with the Braum to get these early kills, to get early ahead. Because last game we saw Fine Girl from Mysticon being on the uh, being on the side of just having to play defensive the whole game norm and now they show why they are here and why they deserve to be here with their aggressive plays this time from the set around. Absolutely, absolutely. They are doing what they do best, and the engages are working for them. Lucian goes over the wall trying to steal the blue, and they do, but what? What, what dead was do too they much. Steal the blue. Jace with the double kill. Can he get the triple onto Jin Zhao? No, Kaiser picks that up for herself. And then Karma is on the run away from that 4v1. Missing out that Braum ult, though. That could have been huge for Monaco to pick up the Karma. But still, trading going over there. Karma does get the kill onto Kaiser thanks to the turret. But Kaiser gets the kill onto the Karma. A lot of Ks going on there. That was going to throw me up if I said I'd say King K as well at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, what happened there is that they thought they could just... Uh, burst with Renekton, but Renekton with level 6 gets such a huge spike in HP that they were not able to kill him fast enough. Kaisa being able to fly in from our side, Orn getting a huge knock up. So, actually, great wombo combo, everything just raining down on them. Lucian being a bit too aggressive, a bit too into melee range because he thought he could just uh, burst the Renekton in seconds, which was not possible, not enough damage yet. But no, Jace actually being really, really strong. Mm, Old I mean, top lane looking. Top They're looking for a kill, Ooh. but the Lux is actually almost. Ooh. Camille used their ignite onto her, hoping to take down the Lux, but here comes Renanet. Turn, but okay, back oh, into the engage. A little bit of a trade there from the Lux onto the Jin Zhao, but then Renekton picks up the kill from the Jin Zhao. But I mean, that was ballsy. That was real ballsy there to, to flash in to just to get the kill onto the Lux, because that could have gone completely pear shaped for uh girlfriend for mr come but it could still happen because i mean here's those jungle objectives could renekton pick up the shelly just to get a lane advantage on one of these first here turrets but on nice karma, nice from the karma oh <laughs> downtown q from the karma we saw the zewi getting one v one oh okay but all looking for negation, Zao still does not have the ultimate up and just get picked up because of it. He used the top lane when they tried to dive the Lux. Blammy. Whammy. And then 
blue side working on oh get a few turret platings from uh, that mid lane first here however renekton still holding on to shelly going in call the meek goes in onto the karma karma is looking like she's in trouble but also renekton taking a lot of damage from lucian as well being able to get his health back up thanks to the schmite onto this uh rift skull there the schmite the schmite i'm adding a bit of zest to the smite i feel like it needs that a little bit more of an oomph. Not quite execute smite, but smite. <laughs> smite has my vote. <laughs> oh, All right. You're just jealous they, of Zesty Again, so much action happening from both sides. Both sides being completely even right now, though. Mm -hmm. So the the hard early game uh, aggressiveness we saw from uh, Thank you for Mysticon paid off at the start, but got a bit. Oh, okay. Kaiser Flash got a bit uh, stopped from a baguette of sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. No, both teams are a bit slower right now. Harold already got secured. The drag fight, or maybe a bit too deep. He's kind of alone no, in three people. Here. Gets Renekton, to flash out. Jay's here. They're just dropping off that little Amazon care package in the mid lane, which Renekton is Shelly. Oh, but nice gets stopped. Stun, though. Completely in the game. Delusion one shot. Oh, double kill. And that's all thanks to that dust blade, man. That damage that comes from that item is ridiculous in the early game. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, Jace. but the Jace! Beautiful the Jace is like, there. hold up. Hold you up. got the dust blade. Wait a I, I got the. Oh. Oh Wait. no, that might be too much for Kaiser. He still has a knock up. Ooh. The passive. <gasps> Ooh. Lots of trading blows there. All around the dragon and blue side managing to pick up the dragon as well. Uh, effectively come better out of that whole interaction between the two teams because it was like a two. 2-1 two, two, trade there, and also picking up the Mountain Dragon as well, which is pretty... Yeah, I mean, you don't really want to chase for the Mountain Dragon Soul. It's okay, but picking up that first dragon is always going to be a good thing for your team. Not quite the Rift Herald, so you can get that early lane priority, but still decent. Rift Herald did get placed the mid, I think, during this whole... Uh... Yarp. Interaction happening on the Drake. That's why Renekton was a little bit too slow. He was like, yo, I've got to just dip and patch my parcel here. I've just got to take a photo at the door while I just leave it there, battered and bruised. <laughs> oh, Kazal looking mid. Jay's face checking the Kazal and flashing in, and he's dead. Bang, and the dirt is gone. Thanks to Lucian there with his. Welcome, display. Tatsu. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, hello. Hey, Wonderful. what's up? So I just joined, and uh, the game's pretty even, no? Yes. At the moment, yes, absolutely. Uh, Blue side currently taking it ever so slightly in terms of the gold and the kills, but I don't think it'll be for long with this three on one down in the bot lane. Okay, Karma picking up that. People actually hate Mystic. Look at this. Three man <laughs> dive on him. I mean, understandable. <laughs> understandable, no. definitely. Really, really action-packed game. If you look at it, it's, it's more than two kills per minute the whole game along. Oh, Renekton flashing in. And they get the one shot onto the Lucian, which is really Let's huge. Go. And Renekton slice and dicing out, but Jace will sacrifice himself third. Renekton still figure. in a bit of a... Okay, double kill uh. for Jinzo. Still not finished. Camille with the Hextech ultimatum straight onto the Kaiser to the back. Yo, triple kill picked up for Jinzo. He was like, yo, that kill's mine. Thank you very much for the triple kill. As we see the Lux top lane hitting top lane to it, almost getting it. How did they manage to get a Lux top lane? What happened? Why did she, or did they really pick it know. on purpose, or? I think they picked it on purpose. I don't know why. I don't know how. She goes to support of Lux as well with rushing the, uh, uh, with rushing the, <clears throat> sorry, stuff of flowing water. Yes, but like the, the the issue will be like when Kamu finishes her Hallbreaker, there is no way that Lux c can hold the lane at all. Yeah, but I think Jace is trying to hold this lane. I think Jace uh, 
will be able to hold her for a bit. Even though the Jace can collect her, but the Camille, as we just talked about, just gets picked yeah. off here by the Lux Q. Jace is on the Lucian. The Lucian is really out of position and he kills him. He snipes him after the flash. The Carmel is completely isolated as well and gets picked off by the Kaiser. No, the Renekton. And that was actually a huge turn for Baguette with Sauerkraut, getting this team fight so split up. Everyone was kind of out of position. No one looked at the Jace assassinate the Lucian in the back. And the Camille just being a bit too deep. I think she was never in position to be in river at all, at least there, because like there there were already three enemies on top side, and they just collapsed on her. So yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But let's see how the game will turn out, and uh, until she uh, finished her heartbreaker. Then it's going to be exciting watching probably the Camille into the Jace, but the Jace does have a 2k gold lead, so even with the heartbreaker, I think it's going to be really hard for Camille to contest the Jace. Probably, probably, but uh, let's see how tanky she will be. I'm not sure if uh, Jace can shred her or not, but let's see. Let's see. Jace actually going for the three lethality items, which is not seen that often. Just a pretty much one-shot build trying to get onto the solution like he did last fight. Yeah, I think that's ultimately the, the, the function of that collector pickup there, was just to try and take out the Lucian, but I think Blue side have definitely picked up on that, though, because they're now taking out Jace as the prior pick there into these team fights. So they do manage to get a Drake for themselves, but unfortunately, there will be no Dragon Soul for either of these teams because both of them now have a Dragon each. But this might be a Nash angle. Jungle dead for uh, for Baguette with Sauerkraut, two people dead. Mm -hmm. They might just be able to hard force it, and I don't really think that Team Baguette with Sauerkraut has anything to say or to do against it. Maybe look know. for a sneaky... Lux old steel is the only real possibility I can see here. A Never mind. Too early. A bit Never too early mind. <laughs> but I think like Firebird is really good on Sin Sao. It's also his OTP, so there's no way Lux outsmites him. Last game they managed to get Firebird really good. I think Firebird was like zero and eight in like Holy 10 shit, minutes. Holy shit! Really? Yeah, yeah. They, they, for game one, Baguette with Sauerkraut was like 13 k gold ahead in like 15 minutes, and then. Five minutes later, they were even again. They could find Girlfriend from Mystic did a complete turnaround. It was a really exciting game one, or like game two, because game one got FF'd by Baguette Sarkos, because they were not there yet. So it's 1-1 one, one at, at the moment. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, I see. Let's see what they can do with Baron. But the the game is still pretty even, mm -hmm. in terms of gold, and turrets even. I do think though that team uh, team Fine Girlfriend from Mysticon is the one scaling better. I do but... not think so either. Yeah. So let's see. But to be fair, in terms of scaling, they are also both really even i mean like they have camille karma yeah yeah i mean i mean like uh, team girlfriend for Mystic scales a bit better i think the running thing gets ah. outscaled by the xenzao i think the yeah. uh, the lux does kind of get outscaled by the camille the lucian right. does outscale the jays um bot lane is the only thing the kaiser will outscale the karma that's and for support, sure yeah. i think it's pretty even there you go heartbreaker camille let's see Oh, but the Ooh. Renekton... Oh. He's dead, probably. He's... Never mind, he survives. He gets to slice and dice, but Camille... Kaisa has no vision to ult. No vision, yeah. Oh, oh no, oh. but she goes in after she took the plant. Oh, and there goes no. Kaiser. Let's go. Wow, okay. Let's go. On also getting picked off. Being a bit too far up there. Now the two kills just randomly going to find girl from Mysticon. Actually, very well played. Very well Nash played indeed. did ran out though, so kind of hard to push any waves. Lux does have pretty decent wave clear. Old spot wave though, instead of mid wave. That's really a problem. Like, the problem. I, I think you don't want Jace to be uh, matching Camille. Since he has like so many lethality items. They want to yeah. actually one-shot Karma or either Lucian and not uh, be like defending Camille's split. So I think the Lux pick is kind of grief. 
I do think so as well. I don't know what happened there because uh, Lux really being behind in gold, going a tank Lux build. I think someone watched too much of the Shiner content out there right now. <laughs> the Chinese TikToks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, we did see a Lux with this build in mid lane in China, not not that far back. And now yeah. he put it on top, but um, still not really, not really sold on it yet. It didn't really see it perform at all yet. She will get a lot of utility with her items later on in the game. That's if for you sure. See yeah. that the shields are coming out every like four seconds, shielding a whole team for like 300 HP. There's like a mounted soul every th uh, four to five seconds. But we really have to see if this can change up how for how low gold she is. 9,000 gold in 60 minutes, it's, it's really, really low on the farming lane. Yeah, even like, yeah, okay, Braum has uh, less gold than her, but still it's like really less gold, yeah? It's not a lot at all. And look at Kamu, she's always, uh, almost at 12k, so... Yeah, really hard. But they do have a little bit of the poke advantage with the Kaiser Ws and the Lux that can just randomly throw spells and they always have to... Oh, right. but Lux gets oh, they found the pick. But Lux is really tanky with her item, Vixen's out, does get out, yeah. Kaiser also over the wall, fight is all over the place everywhere. Camille gets rooted, gets gets hit by the one wall, and it's Braum, who went. There goes Braum. There goes oh, Braum. Oh, and Parma, 1 HP as well, that might just be a Nash. Vixen's out cannot play, they're all way too low. That is just a free Nash for Team Baguette with Sauerkraut here, I think. And I think this is the first time we actually really see them uh, use their team comp, this five-man group up with the Lux. Lux surviving the engage from uh, Xenzao because of her item build, actually. So this is, I think, the first time we actually see this Lux purpose. It actually worked out for the first time. If they can continue playing like this, and if they, if Team... Uh, Team Find Girl from Mysticon is not using their strong side lane with the camera. She built Heartbreaker, but they actually just decided to go full team fight instead of pushing the side lanes. I don't think they can just straight up force Nash 4v5. So, yeah, I, but we see Renekton building the Heartbreaker as well now. Actually, Jungle with Heartbreaker, another little Chinese tech we're seeing there. The two Chinese players on Baguette with Sauerkraut trying their best to use what they've learned from their brethren. <laughs> indeed, yeah, indeed. Because oh, Camille no. will lose 1v1 into Renekton with the Hullbreaker and she ults here which oh. is so ballsy she has no way to escape and slice and dice from no. Renekton and picks her up. That was a little bit too much from Camille there. And now that might just be a free Elder Dragon. It's a 4v5 fight. They could just push as well, they still have the Nash for 30 seconds. Lucian's culling not really getting a lot, clears this wave. But Renekton will just start going to uh, Elder here, and they will stop stop Team Find Girlfriend from Mysticon to even get there. So really hard to get through this Lux, just throwing spells, and one root on Illusion or something can just uh, kill him. Together with the Jay's EQ. Since now is face checking there, but now walks in too deep, has to ult instantly, is almost picked off. He survives. He survives, but I think it's not but enough. I think it's still Elder Drake. He has to leave. Yeah. Renekton still HP. on Elder Buff, uh, Elder Dragon, yeah. And they get it. Oh, and the bomb and gets picked off Braum. as well. Walking through the ward, didn't think about it still being there. Okay, that was a little turnaround. Looked better for Twine Graf Graffin from Mysticon's team at the start. But now, it's kind of like the last game where one team was way better in early game, especially early, early game. Find Graffin from Mysticon got so many picks. And now, Team Baguette with Sauerkraut is coming back. Really hard to defend. Luckily, the uh, Nash ran out. So uh, they only have the Elder. So if they. But the problem is, find Girlfriend from Mysticon's only wave key really is Karma. They can, like, safely wave key, and that's not enough to clear a whole minion wave, sadly. Seems so like they, they can't the siege. Image. Oh, but the Renek there? All really risky for both teams here. Okay, but the Camille oh, gets rooted cool. and gets instantly one shot by the Elder Dragon at the Kaiser. Since our altered as well. Not a lot to get. Probably what they should do is just get a reset in very soon and then take the rest of the Elder to do the Nash. That would be the perfect call, yeah. Just to reset. Oh, but 
Woo! Ooh, Lucian's calling, look at this! Oh, but Ten. the Elder Drake is still on. Oh. Everyone is so low on Team Gurple vs. Oh, everyone gets out, Kaiser! The Braum nice is one of the Oh, does he die? That's really good, lives? that's really good. It looks like a turning point. Holy shit! Look at Sinso! That... And now it's the exact other way, they might... Are they able to finish? They don't really have a wave. It's gonna be hard, but they will definitely be able to collect the Nash here. They should just straight up go to Nash and maybe... I'm yeah, not sure. I, I think I think Camus should stay bot, since they have enough damage to actually do Baron. And enough time, though, too. Yeah. If Kaiser overstaffs, they just turn. This is Kaiser's moment. That directed cam doesn't... Oh, Kaiser, what, oh, what, what? Oh, directed oh, TP, actually! They will not finish the Nash fast enough. They have to fight for it. It's gonna be a 50-50 here. That's how old. There you go. It. But the fight looks losing for Team Fine Girlfriend from Mysticon. They do get two. If they get the Lucian here, they might be able to finish. Lucian's calling. Yeah. Renekton jumping in. But they don't... No, Camille coming from the side, getting onto the Kaiser. Karma lives. But Camille is completely alone and has to back off. Much. Gets rooted though. Stay has to yes. And gets out. Whoa. Okay. What an attack. It's actually, it's actually a really good game. Look at the kills. It's like really even. Both, even gold. Both games now where they exact like this. Both both games were like at this time of the... Oh, but the Kaiser was thing. But the Karma shields. Okay. Wow. Being too big. Firebird spawning in five seconds, same as the support. And but Lucian, look at Lucian. Off. Lucian is so strong at this point in the game. He's almost full item build. He will get the IE last probably. And just be too strong. The Lux right now being a bit too far up as well gets a huge. Do we get an E flash? No, it will survive. Oh, E there flash ult. There you go. Oh, the Kaiser though. No, okay. Not enough damage. I think Camille should stay top side to actually create pressure because, like, yeah, because Camus that's the only on point. Lanes. Yeah, but that's the only way how to actually end the game. They might look for a final push here. It's probably just an inhib though. Kaiser coming back as well. They cannot really finish. Elder Drake spawns in 30 seconds again though. Both teams will have all their players up at that point. That will be the. Yeah, that will decide the fun, uh, the game, I guess. The next Elder Dragon. We do see Jace walking top here, though. Yeah, because the top wave is kind of stacked. I think mm -hmm. he needs to clear it. But Camille also is saying that both teams want to play it slow. I think Camille at this point... I think the... At this point, Camille can actually 1v1. No, she can definitely 1v1 Jace and kill him. Yeah, I think so as well. She's At this point, she's, she's strong, going, especially yeah. with Jace's build. Jace is full damage if he doesn't even go the Heartbreaker or some Bruiser stuff. So, uh, oh! Little Q from Lux, nothing really happening though. Camille kind of hovering between topside. Eat onto Jace, but sadly eat into the pit instead of onto the yeah. Jace. <laughs> But to be honest, I think that's the right call from Camille to actually just pressure topside now. Yeah, I do agree. Because it's the last inhib. If this inhib falls, I think the game is over. Just because right. of three three side lane, uh, three ways pressuring too much. That means every objective is kind uh -huh. of free then for O. But the, the Karma Jace. actually poking a lot. But Jay's doing the same. Now the Camille is kind of late to the fight, but she will be there when the Elder is in close range, but look at bot wave, Karma has to answer bot wave. Correct. And they push mid wave. And Camille oh. goes top, so they want to flip it. They actually want to flip this. The I only think way since for them to win. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, all good, don't worry. Because now might be getting picked off. No, but he's not. Camille pushing top. Directors can please show me the fight. Thank you. <laughs> 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 but it does look like... They get the Elder, Camille cannot finish, Jace and uh, Lux are back in base. Look, that's Camille the scenario. Off. And that's I think it's scenario. just over. It's just over. I think... She just Bagana needs Fogel to get out. She will not get out. Wait.
Wraith comes in. Oh, man, and they will just so finish. Sad. Oh. But actually, what a game again. Both games were complete 25 minute bangers. I love to see it. I think a lot of a lot of people thought that these are going to be pretty class games by Capital Sokov being the second best team in Europe, actually, repeating VLG in the, in the, in the lower bracket finals or purge. But these games are so close and so exciting to watch. I really like it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Those get like the those, um actually this game was really fun to watch. It was like really close. Yeah, it actually was. And just to remind everyone, girlfriend for Mysticon team, they are a bunch of LFTs. We mm. just grouped them together for the tournament. So <laughs> they are holding up their own against BWS for sure. Actually really great to see. Now it's 2-1 for BWS. As we said, first game got FF because they were too late. And the second game was just as close banger as this one in the third game. So now 2-1, so it's actually a match point for Baguette with Sauerkraut. But nothing is decided yet. <laughs> Have to see how it turns out. Blame my guy, are you still here? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm staying. That's who gets his voice. I'm, I, I've been I'm going just... for two games. I'm like, yeah, there you go, get get your voice in, dude. <laughs> I'm just wondering why they just don't ban, for example, Sin Sao. Do they leave it open, like, uh, on purpose? Yes, they did. They leave, leave it open game one and they stomp it Sin Sao so hard. I think ah, they were yeah. just like, okay, we tried to do the same again, but this time there was a Braum and Lucian. Hovering around right. the mid lane the whole time, which like was not, it was not possible for them to no. punish Dixon Zhao on his first clear again. G game two, uh, game one, yeah, g well, technically game two, but game one uh, was the actual game. Jin Zhe was actually banned. Oh, it was banned. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, I see. Because like uh, Fi I, I know Firebird like um, since forever actually, and I know that he's like a really good Sin Zhao player. And usually what you would like to do in games like these, where you know the opponent is like good on a certain champ, you just ban it. Yeah. It doesn't matter if uh, you leave, for example, Yumi or whatever open. Just ban the OTP and you're like most likely going to win the game by just, you know, being better. <laughs> Probably a little disrespect, not going to lie, from... Uh... From I think yeah. they did not think at the start that these games are going to be that close. We saw the same against Rapi MEA with a bit of disrespect bans of disrespect picks, and that actually made it close as well. But I think uh, Baguette Sauerkraut should slowly notice that these guys are no bad players and not a bad team at all. And I think they might should might be starting to ban Ixin Zhao and getting a bit more serious before they play. Yeah, I, I think so too. Like, I, I know three players of uh, finding a girlfriend from Mysticon. And they are really good players, so they should not get underestimated by them. Like, yeah. not at all. We saw Lopak also getting five games last season of this tournament in the finals. I think that was when they played against us. Back then with Dunsku and stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. And now from there, Firebird, I know, because sometimes even sitting in VC with him, playing a lot of Legendary Q with him. Um, Sariel is Flair, if I'm not wrong. Flair was the manager of my team for almost a year. So I know a lot of these players as well. And it's kind of exciting. I, I, on the other side as well, uh, PIY I played with for a long time, Final Rex. I met both of them IOL in the, on the French LAN that happened uh, end of last year. Same as Blam. Blam was there also. A little oh, Blam was there also. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, if you yeah. look at my little profile picture on Discord, you see even a picture with me and Blam. <laughs> oh, yeah, correct. Yeah. So, actually, both teams having people I know and like, as I even would call some of them friends. And that makes it really exciting for me to watch them play here in the finals of a tournament I was allowed to cast. So, and then these are not even stomps or boring games. These are actually straight up bangers, both games we saw for now. So, yeah. That's nice. By the way, the last time you played against me, Karim. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that game. Bro, bro, what was that Senna build? You were unkillable. 
<laughs> yeah, I cooked a bit with Kirk with the hard speed into Titanic on Senna. It's really weak on one item, but the second you hit two items and like 60, 70 souls, you're unkillable and just pew pewing at everyone. Bro, like you, you survived so a whole engage with Camille Old. You had a trolling duo, like not, not your actual duo, I mean like in your lane. And you still managed to do something, man. That was yeah, that... like I felt so disgusted, man. Like I was like, "Holy shit, what is this?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a really toxic center, but if that build gets ahead, it starts being like you're a tank, but you're also literally just having DPS of a normal AD carry. Yeah, you get so much free AD out of it. My do the the guy on AD carry literally take my t takes my role in champ select, flames me that I have no clue and. <laughs> Goes like zero and eight. Yeah, and, uh, that was yeah. so disgusting. Uh. <laughs> he did not deserve that win, but we still got it. So, what are you waiting on? Like, are they not ready or? I actually don't know what happens there. Probably. Sam will come in any second. Heaven wants to get in. Flam, look at your screen. <laughs> so I'm probably talking with chat again. Ah, now they're all in, okay. Yeah, let's go. Game number four. Yes. Hopefully we see a banger like this before, or like, like the last game. I don't want to see a stomp. And I think we won't see a stomp. I don't think we'll see a stomp either. I thought it was a stomp in the last game we watched right before you came because it was like 13k gold lead. But actually, they managed to. I, I've, I said it to them as well. I've never seen such a big swing in my life in a competitive game from getting to 13k gold lead to being completely even in five minutes. <laughs> they stole. They stole Nash. Then they stole Elder, and completely turned back the game. It was actually really fun to watch. Uh, King K, you actually played competitive like not long ago, right? So what are the uh, usual bands you want to see? Because like, to be honest, I'm so out of it. Like, I uh, don't know what usually five v five team spans and... Uh, usually the most broken champion status Camille. We saw it both games. No team, both both times they got first picked for the for either side. Now we also see the like, Xenzao ban, which uh, is often yeah. a respect ban. Fiora is pretty high priority in bans. Uh, Vladimir is still kind of high priority. Hecarim, so these kind of obnoxious junglers that okay. will run away with the game. Um, but do, do you not usually ban for like team fighting comps? Like, for, I don't know, like back in the days, I, I, I can still remember, yeah, like you, you went for a Zix ban, Galio ban, something like that. You usually don't do it anymore? Yeah, like these these type of uh, AP carries like Zix, Zix is not that prevalent anymore in the competitive meta. You do see AD carries on bot a lot. Okay. But mainly like Zer we see a lot of Zeri, Sivir, Kaiser. So uh, kind of wave clear scaling team fight AD carries a lot more than these AP carries we, we saw where before. Oh, okay. Kaiser got picked both games as well. Sivir kind of out of draft, which is a bit, bit weird. We saw Sivir played a lot in, the, in, in in China right now and other competitive matches in Europe even. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see. We see the Kaiser respect band this time though, because uh, Team Bagat of Sorkov picked it twice. Tatsu. Shen is also. Oh. Yeah. Sam. Are you looking at the at the Zoo Twitch chat? Shay just said hi to you earlier. I think you just. I, didn't uh, see my, my uh, like my last message on the on the Twitch. Um, Shanna was that um, she asked if uh, Lux felt blue. I think oh, it, okay, uh, okay. it didn't update it or something. No, no, it was before. It's all, it's all right. Ah. Hey, Shay, what's up? <laughs> and now we see Kragas Lee Sin, we see PIY. Probably the best Lee Sin in Europe, at least one of them. Honestly, Sin, we see Kragas, which got really overbuffed, uh, not this patch, but the patch before. Um, first picking Hecarim as well, as I said, these priority junglers are Hecarim and he's still probably being the two best junglers in the game right now. Probably, yeah. Zaya that early is really weird. We don't really see Zaya a lot last couple of weeks. It is really good into, uh, into Gragas Lee though. It is a pretty safe eddy carry and they have this one big ability she can dodge. Like usually you, you already see like engaging uh champs on the other side so i think saya pick is not that bad yeah at all 
I think it's good. Did he still Rom again? Decent peel. Rom got buffed again this patch as well. He got uh, got some stun duration on his passive and stuff like that. It's a pretty good champ, but Rom is still a champ, in my opinion, that is still not good in not good Braum games and just got better in Braum games. Don't forget yeah, to see correct. the Braum pick yet, because I don't think we see enough. But I think it's just a early pick where they want to leave their solo lanes open so they can counter pick. We see a Garen here. Garen haven't seen Garen pick in ages as well. So probably a bot side heavy draft gonna happening for Team Baguette with Sour Crowd, leaving the Garen alone into his matchup and giving giving a bit more show to uh, Rollo. I think we saw Pepe on uh, Camille already last game. It was Camille, yeah. Camille is an excellent pick into Garen. Maybe we're gonna see some Camille or like even Darius is not that bad yet. Camille is still open as well. Really weird. Yeah. We saw Camille getting first pick both time, both games before, and now we see it not even picked in, in, in the first draft phase. I think we're going to see uh, Pepe Camille again. I think so. Camille is a great pick into Garen. And uh, still one of the best champions in comp for years now. Having the Hexed ultimatum, this point and click lockdown ability. And now we see the Sivir. We just talked about it. I hope yeah. we actually see it. I think Sivir looks great into the team. Two hard frontliners she can hit already. Has a decent lane to Zaya. Can spell shit the feathers. So um, let's see if it's actually going to be the Sivir. I think Sivir is a really good pick here too, yeah. Agree. Oh no, it's a Corky. The Corkster. No, never mind. It's Asriel. <laughs> As we're being really strong as well, especially if we see these, uh, especially in China, as we just even pick first rotation a lot. Pretty flexible champ. We even saw some as we admit the last couple of weeks. The Timo, I... the Timo hover here. There like, you go. It's gonna be Camille yeah, here. Yeah, hundred percent. Like uh, that's that's so like Camille is so pickable this game. Actually, also great into as we struggles a bit into Gragas Lee Sin, though, I think. Yeah, I correct. Gragas Lee Sin are both really good champions into Camille. But let's see. Not gonna what lie, I think like here? Darius was also really pickable here, but I'm not sure if Pepe is actually a uh, Darius player. Yeah, I don't really know either. The any interesting, really interesting because uh, Heaven. Huh. On, on, on the side of I got the Sour Crowd, picked Annie a lot in last purge. Annie got a lot more popular as well in China as in uh, Europe, especially on Heaven. But it was sadly just a Zix, which makes it a bit more boring, in my opinion. <laughs> I think uh, the Annie would have been a bit more spice. Do we see another Renek then? Is it actually Garen Mid then? Into Zix? Never mind. Ash? Ash support Navia? Will we see it? It's probably a uh, support we it's do. such an obnoxious lane. But to be fair, Braum should actually be good here. Yeah. Wait, what's but going on? Braum lanes already are struggling uh, a lot into um, into uh, strong uh, poke lanes. And having uh, having Braum, Raya, both champions that kind of struggle if they can't really go in, which is really hard into Azure as well. Bot lane will be really annoying to play for uh, to find a oh. level for the King K, look at this. Firebird is on support duty, and Lopak is going uh, jungle this time. Really? That's interesting. I that know is Lopak Lopak's is champion. Yeah, Hecarim is Lopak's champion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that might be right. Mystic on Zix. I I didn't. I I've never seen him on Zix. <laughs> But I hope uh, it looks like uh, it might be also Ash top. <laughs> maybe. It's yeah, actually, maybe. Like, we saw the Lux top last game. Yeah. I'm not questioning anything anymore, to be honest. <laughs> um, I... Yeah, look at this. <laughs> actually, what is happening? <laughs> oh, hell no. But uh, um, please help me out about this. I think Heaven is also the really good Diana player, no? is but i think diana right now is a really weak spot in the matter yeah but i only know him on diana that's the thing yeah but heaven heaven overall is performing very well last couple of weeks with forget with sauerkraut also on purge as a mid laner um so 
even last couple of games, I think Heaven was always a consistent uh, play you can play around. Yeah. Let's see. Really interesting. If it's actually the Ash top, it might actually be, or it's just the Gragas that goes top here, which could also be it. But because it's just Nabil, it's Nabil's account on the Ash. And, but Monaco is also a support player, so <laughs> it's kind of uh, kind of all over the place. But it's also Ash with um, Aerie, so it yeah. might be actually Ash support. And it's also Ash I'm with so Ghost. confused. It's I'm also so Ash confused. with Ghost, which makes it weirder <laughs> as well. Ash with Ghost on support is a bit weird as well, right? So yeah. it's like it's kind of all over the place. But I like seeing the text. That they pull out like the Renekton jungle last game, which I think was the best performing member out of uh, Baguette with Sauerkraut's team last game. Yeah. So let's see. Seeing, seeing PIY on uh, on Lee Sin is probably the biggest threat here for um, for Fight Girl from Wisconsin. I think he is the best Lee Sin and maybe the best jungler in Europe right now. And seeing him on his best champion, but also low puck on his on his um, Hecarim, which is really interesting. They swapped around like. Three volts it's, now. No, it's actually. It's Ash Top. Okay. It's Ash Top, yeah. Against the, Ziggs. The, against Ziggs. Oh. Nah, man, oh, they are okay. cooking something. I, like, I'm so confused. Like, I like you can't read the draft at all, man. Look at this. <laughs> at least I know it. At least I know it's Lee Sin again. This is the Hecarim jungle. Holy shit, My it's Camille Nid. Bro, yeah, probably, I... probably they just swapped around because they don't like the matchup Ash and uh, Camille into Ash. Yeah, correct. And like one wanted to, wanted to put into Garen, but I think Zix will get lose a lot of prior and it's a really easy target to dive on top lane, especially with Hecarim, uh pathing away from him and they sit pathing into the Zix Ash lane. I think it's going to be really hard to survive the uh, level five dive that uh, Lisa will probably be looking for. Is Unless he supports he... mid, as we saw yeah. last game as well. I think that's still like uh, the way to do, uh, like to play competitive games, no? Like mid lane uh, to two v two. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, a lot, especially if you have mid laners. Um, oh, that... oh, nice flash by the Ash. Otherwise, she would have been dead. Especially if you have high priority mid like the Lucian last game. Yeah, I think it's really good to have the brawn mid here with the Camilla. A bit confused because. I don't think really anything is going to happen. I think just they, Gragas, um, Gragas, Gary just have the better wave early game, which is clear. But as I, as, as we talked about, they may may be looking for a dive on Zix very soon. There you go. But the Brom is there to cover. Let's see if they actually can pull off something. Zix is slow in mana though. There's a huge wave, and Brom gets oh. almost picked off. Lee Sin coming, still have a four though. But I think I'm the Brom sure is just can. food. Yeah, the the Brom is just food. But I'm not sure why Camilla didn't rotate I, like ASAP. Oh, oh, uh, oh, he's coming in now. Oh, and gets the kill. Pretty even trade here. Zix missed some more minions though. But we also lost, uh, t Soko also lost minions mid because Camilla pushed away from the turret first. Lopa commented to the full clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the... Oh. Oh, nice! Expecting. Okay, nice. Lopa with the kill on board. Actually huge for Lopa because he got the full clear through plus a kill onto the Ezreal, which is really good for the Hecarim. I'm so surprised that they actually, like, can, uh, like, they, they actually are able to play the game, Mystic's team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, I, I'm so surprised. <laughs> I wow. think that Ash traded a bit too much HP top lane that she had to flash and everything kind of ruined the play for Baguette with Sauerkraut there. Exactly. If this Ash is full HP and just managed to get the waves in and have still that flash, it would have been a way better outcome. You see uh... the Ash arrow? It, it flies bot, it oh, flies it, bot, I... it flies bot. Oh and no. It and she didn't ult and that means she's dead. Great ult by Ash actually. Very, very well played from Nabil. I think it is Nabil. The Chinese names are sometimes a bit confusing. <laughs> Lee Sin is getting caught, or...? I think oh, Ezreal is wow. also getting... I mean, Rom also getting caught. Actually, such a fiesta, yeah, and I love to see it. Camille is there as well. Camille still has the Hextag Ultimatum, uses it on the Gragas. Six round mid, at least they one more. And Garen has to flash out as well. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I think if we turn, Ash will get like one play top, but still a better play for a fine girlfriend from Mysticon. Ash get two plays, actually. She has demolished yeah. if I didn't see that wrong. Was it demolished? I'm, I'm really, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm really confused. <laughs> oh, but the Hecarim and Vayne actually being a level up on the Lee Sin right now. As we're walking in as well, as we're still being stronger than the the, the Xayah. Oh, the Xayah, oh, dodges the, the Ash ever this time. Really aggressive playstyle from Baguette with Sauerkraut, which I think is right, but they didn't uh, didn't really do it perfectly yet. They're still looking for the Hecarim's blue buff, and it's probably pretty free, because Hecarim is still on his red. I think, Don't... like, the 4v4 on Harold is, like, favorite into Mystic's team. Yes, I do think as well. I think the Braum is a great asset here. Hecarim with old Hecarim right now is really, really good than these uh, bigger skirmishes, like not these 2v2s, more like these 4v4s. Uh, both botliners will probably just farm. We did see uh, Fine Girlfriend from Mysticon just taking Drakes a lot, but now the, the, the Ash has to reset, and now it's kind of a 4v3 for side sometime. I think it should be Harold for Mysticon's team. I also think so. The game is... Oh, oh but the Xayah... I... These oh, edge man. arrows are actually insane. And the Gragas might die here, actually. The Garen walks into four people as well. Garen no gets flash. Gets ultimatums. He's probably look just at the dead. Oh, the scene, but he gets the one, one. kill back. Zix will be able to explode mid turret with W, but he doesn't have it he up he yet. He doesn't have it, yeah. They will get it up. No matter okay, what. Okay, nice, yeah. But actually, Ezreal getting so much on bot lane with the plates and with, with the kills he gets for free because of the Zash. Ezreal being 5k gold, same, uh, on the same state than Lee Sin and uh, Camille, and also Lopak. Lopak actually being most golden game right now on a Hecarim, which looks really scary for Team Baguette of Sauerkraut, because this champ, we all know it, can get out of hand so fast, but Ash actually getting the top three would be huge. So close. So close. But I think, like, it, uh, like correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't it be better to send Saya top lane and Zig spot since uh, he actually is better into Astral? Or am I wrong? Um, I think so, yes. But they, it's pretty hard to find a good timing with the Drake coming up. Oh, oh no, and the uh, arrow. Saya gets it again. Gets but look at Fiber. Also kicks him. <gasps> oh, oh nice, nice nice old. But good old from Saya. These Ashul's actually popping off, kinda, not gonna lie. We get the Drake, Zix rotated in mid, that means we also get the free top turret here. Oh, but the Garen is a bit too deep under the tier 2. <laughs> <laughs> but tier 1, actually better play here for Baguette with Soul Crowd, even though Ash, uh, I mean, even though Garen overextended a bit. They got two turrets for free here, only mid turret standing, they got five players and everyone. Camille coming in, Hextech ultimatum. On the Gragas, but the Gragas oh. all in the turret. And the Braum lives. Ezreal also lives. Ezreal looking for more. Oh, but he gets exhausted. The ult, it's the Braum. It's the Braum. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, what a interaction, actually. But the edge on you think it's so much action, like, we, we can't even breathe, man. What is this? I swear. But every game was like this until now. It's so fun to watch, actually. <laughs> and if I would be Desire, I would be tilted into another mind. I got, like, three deaths all three times. I got ulted by Ash and just <laughs> died from the other yeah. side of the map. That's actually so frustrating for him. But, but um, Nabil on Ash is, like, too good to be honest like this guy yeah. on ash is just disgusting on ash top <laughs> yeah on ash top now imagine what he puts off on support actually oh garen going in oh my, my god. god oh, oh my god. okay okay <laughs> <laughs> imagine he gets hit by that again oh my god <laughs> I think Garen Garen uh, tried to time his silence with the uh, with the arrow. It looked yeah, like it was it. really close. It was yeah. really close. I, what this game is actually another of these 
almost fiesta type games. But look at six damage already. Yeah, six is six damage is already really oh, old. Oh, oh, oh. Garen, maybe Garen? Just getting picked off here bot side. He does, but they also get mid turret for it. It's really important for getting soccer. Mid turret is the most important turret. Training it for bot turret here, I think, and we will pick that pretty easily. It's the sun it doesn't look like, as well. Yeah, it doesn't look like she has demolish. The other game she had either. But the other top laner in this game has demolish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash top lane. But oh I think they will God. run into that issue again. Like no one can match Camille. Yeah, maybe Camille this time gets it a bit. Oh, 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 oh my <laughs> goodness! Holy shit! This Ash actually, I will not lie, one v nine in this. Game. Oh, but it's not enough. Oh wow! Sandra is too good to... of an item. Oh, oh but okay. Holy! The Vine Sandra makes her so tanky with the with the play the yeah, caps there. Agree. Good pickup as well. I think it's the better item when you just have to sideline into Garen later on. It's better than Triforce. Correct. I think like Triforce Camille is like, I don't like it. I don't know. It feels good. It feels good, but Divine Sandra is like. Yeah, superior. I think it's better if you either snowball really hard already in the early game or you right. play oh, oh, ranked and you know that you're just better. Oh, Ash I got hit again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disgusting. This time they man. go get the pick. This time they go get the pick. Yeah, the yeah. will die. But Lee Sin is here now. But the Hecarim. The Hecarim QSS the Lee Sin kick, right? Lee Sin has no kick. Hecarim no QSS. And I saw no one getting kicked. It looked like it, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Great QSS, actually. No there you go. And now, that, that's yeah, the, the issue man. now. Look at yeah, this. Ash can never 1v1. Oh, oh whoa, but whoa. she gets out maybe. Lee Sin coming from oh. behind, flash in. No, there you but Kimble loses this 1v1. I mean, uh, uh, Lee Sin loses this 1v1. Yeah. Heartbreaker. There's no way Lee Sin can actually do something into her. Like, the only thing he could possibly do just uh, kick her out of her ultimate. Hextech ultimate. Yes, sir. Man, those games are so fun to watch. Holy shit, man. Yeah, they What's actually the... are. It's, it's so cool. Both, but no, like, if you, the yesterday games are pretty boring, only fights around objective. Um, but these both teams don't, like, don't care about anything. If they think they want to fight, they will fight and they will put everything into it. I'm looking <laughs> at next Ash Arrow. Look at, look at, look oh. at Fire and Zix. Oh no, Zix the Zix, the Zix. <gasps> Great old, but great E flash, but ah, okay, six also uh, no. Gragas is dead for oh, this. Oh, stasis, stasis. Yeah, Gragas is just hey, dead. Hey, yo! Wow, yeah, they right? actually. It he looks really good. Oh, again. Oh, yeah. Oh, he couldn't even cast old. Nash is spawning Look too. Camille. Look at the Camille target. <laughs> Look, Look at the Camille. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Camille like dashing in Hexic Ultimatum as well. And the Cam is like, oh, look at that Zix taking the <laughs> my guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. No puck over ulting over the wall as we'll also just think arc arcade shifting out of it. I think there's no one to match the Camille. Like literally. Like Garen gets shredded by Camille. Yeah. Garen does have the Sandra, it makes it a bit easier, but still Camille can just start taking turrets in front of his face. Correct. I think demolish would have even been better. If the problem is they overcome it bot side here, they will just start Nash, Team Girl, Team Fine Girl from Mysticon. So, no, they can't really overcommit. I'm not. Oh! <laughs> Zaya got hit by Ash Arrow again. <laughs> 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 oh, man. This Zaya is not having a great I game. I think I counted nine Ash Arrows, or ten <laughs> even now. Yeah, and I think like seven or eight of them hit Zaya. Yeah, correct. And that one was on Zix. <laughs> One missed. Remember yeah, and one missed. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and look at the cooler of Ash. Oh, Ash has arrow up again. Oh man, that's so disgusting. There Holding you go. Bot. Looking for the pick on the Camille. Camille. Okay, she dodged. Hit. But I think with she needs with to get Aaron out. having Sandra, they cannot really two v one. She cannot really two v one. Yeah. She flashes out. Oh, oh, oh wow! The okay. Ah, the ignite kills. The ignite kills. Okay, actually, great pick up here because they were not in position to do Nash either. Man, P is so good on uh, PIY, is so good on Lee Sin, that's yeah. insane. 
you skited that so well. Yeah, it was perfect. played about two damage yeah. cues from Camille. It was actually really nice to watch. But I think that game will be decided by a Baron flip or something like that, from yeah. the looks of it. We see the next Ash Arrow out of base, look at it. It's flying. It's, it's flying. It's going on... Brom. <laughs> okay. But Brom's uncovable. No. Yeah. Look at the Hecarim ulting in into four people. QSS, oh, that's too much. Off. That's that was too, too much. much. Oh. He that got the face rush and he, he got the face rush and I know this feeling when playing Hecarim. We get the face rush. Everyone is like <laughs> half HP and you're like, okay, now it's my time. <laughs> but it was, <laughs> was a bit too much. Might actually be a Nash, but Ash is a bit too far up. Gragas 1 HP as well. Ash arrow back. I <laughs> do not think, like, you can't do Nash with the Ziggs around. That's impossible. Zix does have no ult, uh, he has ult again, never mind. So he, he should smack. go and poke them, like that's, nah. He has everyone. They're playing really passive, they don't really yeah. have to play that passive, I think. Oh, 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 oh no. PRI no. yeah, doing it so well, waiting for the, this whole team, waiting damage until Zix ult comes through. Okay, Hexag ultimated, but she's completely alone to five people. Gets out, Gragas ult to disengage, and I think they will just go out, take the, oh, never mind. Oh, never mind, they go in. Desire. Dixar getting a huge ult off, oh. but the kill getting picked off. Look at behind, look at behind him. Hecarim is looking from behind. Ulting into four people, gets a huge Q, gets the QSS, but he gets oh one shot. No. That was so close. And the Brom also getting picked off. That was a huge turning point for Baguette with Sour Crowd. Wow. TP, they actually want to look for the finish. Yeah, they're looking for the finish. Look at the SVL ult, not hitting. Oh no, they entered the game, man. Like, it looks Six so long. good. Yeah, actually, I think this game was won already from the team yeah. combines. But actually, this Ash, I was being so annoying. Yeah, it was team. really annoying. So, like, as real is DIY, Final Wax is playing Lee Sin. Okay! Final Wax smurfing on yeah. uh, Lee Sin then. Okay, they don't get the finish. Nexus shit They don't up. finish. Yeah, Nexus should have okay, yeah. Oh, but the Kibble oh, flashes? Yeah. yeah, Ash is just dead. I think that's the sacrifice yeah, I, I have to do. Oh, but they hold oh. on to the Gragas. They I might think get they him. don't kill him. Oh, wow, they, they but do, he's so do, fast. They do, they do. Yeah, yeah. They... Oh, the ult. Oh, he, the he bought so much time. <laughs> <laughs> he's buying a lot of time, but for nothing really. Oh, look at the Lysin. Got the kick onto the thing, but they do not have enough damage with the Brom being around. Brom being 1 HP, though. Oh, no. Six also being 1 HP, and he got sniped. Oh. The Brom got sniped. P.I.Y. on Ezreal, showing he's not only a jungle one trick. Wow, wow. Actually impressive. But look at the Hecarim and the Drake. Uh, oh, mid lane, Ziggs ult mid lane onto Ezreal. Nothing really happening. Uh-oh. Whoa, Final whoa, X. whoa, That's a bit too much, maybe. Going in there, that's a bit too much. There that's you go. So close. <gasps> oh, oh she, she dodged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but she's gonna end up dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I would be beyond tilted. Like, that's yeah. not even funny anymore. I, I, if I would be this, me as a fellow AD carry main, if I would be Flair this game, it would be such a tragedy. I get every Ash and every Zix, I mean, every Ezreal old, humanly possible, into my face. Oh, what heck, I'm looking. Gragas will not get over the wall. Okay, okay. No where, where, where's the camera? I reckon camera, camera. Mid, mid. Top lane is way more important. Look at Garen. Look at how he, look at how he walks in circles. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but it looks like everyone. Oh, Ash Oh, wow, wow. Ash Arrow? Yeah, they. Was that the you flat? Know, no, there was not a flat. No, oh, no. No. You know, Xayah was still dead, so obviously the no. Ash Arrow cannot go into her. <laughs> <laughs> Elder ranks morning actually in two seconds. Ash not having her arrow ready. Does it scale with um, AP? It does, the no? The arrow, yes. The arrow damage. But as you see, they, he literally just bought the three items in the game with the most ability, like with some of the most ability haste, with mana immune, yes. with the. Um, what is the size support item called? Where Cosmic is the directed camera? Uh, Can in, you stop uh... looking, Xayah? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, Imperial Mandate, no? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Mandate, and the item in the game that gives the most CDR with uh, 
with Horizon Focus as well. He just wants to ult on cooldown. Look, Ash ult is up now. He will probably look for something. Camille might be a bit too far up mid lane. Ash oh, no. Ash connects. No, but not. Uncallable. Does not connect. Ash does not it connect. It connected, no? I don't think it, it did. Never mind. Oh, the Sin kicks the round through the high crimson. Wow, of but look at Zig's damage. Look yeah, at Zig's it's damage. It's really obnoxious at this point. Three the items. Ash ult. Ash Ash ult is... Not even, it's up already, it's bro. It's, oh it's my god. Again. Oh my gosh. I, does I she have QSS? Is... Yeah, she has mm. QSS. But... Yeah, but this time she got one shot by the Garen Flash no. as well. Uh, who's who's TPing? Wow, wow, wow. I'm not seeing anything. Red team killed Elder. They might be it. Oh, That's it. Camille That's being it. there alone. Oh. oh, but Ash, the Ash is no damage. Hecrim being 1 HP Elder. Hecrim walking up to Elder. But uh, Ezreal is more important. <laughs> and Hecrim is dead. And that might be it. Maybe. Next mid wave. Elder Drake still there. Oh, the Gragas. But he gets passive. Okay. Holy, I think... these games are so... It's nah, every they... game was more than two kills per minute, but now it's over. Six yeah, face it's, checking. it's over. Holy shit, these games are completely insane. Ash ult! <laughs> 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 Want to do the Xayah again? Oh, okay. Wow, Actually, so GG's. close games. Like, I get the Sour Crowd won all three games we watched, but I don't think like it, every game was little for both teams. Yeah, correct. I actually think yeah. that I'm a bit disappointed from the Camille from uh, uh, Fine Girl from Mysticon side. I think she was <laughs> managed side name pressure onto the map. Look at this. Look at the damage from the Xayah. Look at how much she got bullied. Bro, but look at Mystic's damage. 50 yeah. gay almost. Wow. Wow, so but it was really Zaya. fun to watch. Holy. Yes. Actually, Nabil with the Ash, I was all over the map. It was actually really fine. And now it kind of explains why uh, they put Lux support as well. They have two support players. Just decide, okay, we play full supportive and just let our, our carries carry. Yeah, that was what such a game. nice game. Guys, yeah, what a game. To move to the YouTube casters VC. Let's head right. over. GF for Mysticon. Good evening. How we doing? Hello. Oh, hello. How are we doing today? No. Uh, pretty, pretty good. How about you? I'm good too. Thank you. I guess it comes down to choosing the MVP now, right? It comes are down to choosing the MVP. To I will mute. Yes, of course. Stream will be back in a second. I'll leave you with.
get the friendos in. The friendos. The friendos. Hello, chat. Hello, Twitch Hello. chat as well. And make sure no, that everyone together. is audible. Apart from King K, make sure to turn him down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Be better. I will talk more than anyone else anyway. Hello, it's hello. fine, it's fine. Hello, hello. What's hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 You found a girlfriend? Hello. Sure. Okay. After this what? performance? After this performance? What performance? <laughs> you so, 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 perfectly. so you think you didn't play well? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, you're wrong. You played well. That Just because it wasn't enough to win doesn't mean you played poorly. Very Honestly? important. Honestly, I wanted to just go accent support, but my AD carry didn't approve. <laughs> <laughs> your AD carry game, your AD carry game, uh, like game four in this case, uh, me and Hatsu were casting it, and uh, we both said I would be the, the saddest person in the universe getting yeah. ulted. Get, getting every ash well i think she got ash like seven or eight times this game i was kind of <laughs> it was it was actually really funny to watch but probably not that funny to play for your ad carry side yeah oh, she I probably think. hit got hit nine times or something like that <laughs> oh it was not very <laughs> mentally stable after <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <Player. Poor> <laughs> We need an apology. Oh, okay. from, we need an apology from Nabil for what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've got Monaco here with me. I'm unable to find the other players, but Monaco is here to represent BWS. Cool. Hi guys. Hi. Hello, Hello. Monaco. Um, Hello. We start with. Uh, I think we start with uh, find girlfriend for Mysticon with the, some questions I want to ask. Um, first of all, how do you guys feel? I think, I will not lie, uh, it was probably pretty... Uh, most most people were thinking that BWS to win these games pretty easily, but you guys actually showed how much you can, uh, how much you improve and how well you could play it against such a strong team. Probably the second best team in Europe, if you know where that exactly. And uh, I said it a lot on cast, and I will say it again, I'm really, really surprised by your performance positively. Like, even if you look at game uh, game two in that case, where, where you guys were, I think, I, I said on stream it was a, a 13k gold lead for Baguette with Sauerkraut. And five minutes later you were completely even. I've never seen such a huge swing in a competitive game. Either played in or I've seen. What do you guys think about that? How do you guys feel like you played today? And what do you think were your expectations coming into this? I, I legit had no expectations. I was here to just troll everything. Off meta, you, you mid, I don't even care. <laughs> but we somehow won two games, we got to the finals, uh, I think everyone was happy, I, I found the, all the games fun, I found them all entertaining, even though we lost. I think the, the real prize for us was finding a girlfriend from Mysticon, and well, uh, victory would have been nice, but it's not the real goal we're looking after, and we're still <laughs> hunting. <laughs> last, last cast, uh, this cast, Blam said he might be able to just put a wick on and uh, be, be the girlfriend from Mysticon for a week or something. So I think you should just slide into Blam's DMs and ask him about that. I think he's always open for a little shaky, shaky. Oh, all, all, all the time, all the time. I'm, I'm on the ground. Anything at once, anything at once. All right. Anything. anything. Whoa. <laughs> by the way, I think... The IUI is here. By the way, guys, I think, like, the games I was watching with uh, King K together, they were really entertaining. They were, like, top-notch. Seriously, we had so much fun yes. just watching that. And it was so close. Yeah, I mean, the, the games were very back and forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was pretty insane uh, team fights as well. Yeah. Sometimes it span, it span across like two minutes of game. Exactly. N N nice I news. agree with that. <laughs> In that regard, uh, we have Monaco and uh, PRI here. For both of you, I think I started with PRI. We saw you on a different position today than we usually see you. I think if I looked at right, you played AD carry and Final Rex played jungle, is that right? Yeah, that's right. We decided to swap after AD ADC was not available today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
how did it feel playing in another position? And how do you feel man, you still put your... I think you still play, played very well, especially game one solo killing that very tries and stuff like this. How do you feel about playing another role and even running with that on, with you on another role? And uh, will we see more will we see more PRI on AD carry in the future? I mean, no, most likely it won't happen that I play more AD carry in... Uh... Future, but I mean, like AD carries my second role, so I was pretty comfortable. Comfort. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> yes. He just silent now. I think he gave up. He gave up. He, he has like connection. He's he's scaling. He's scaling. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's lagging, guys. Yeah, I think he's yeah. lagging. Okay, then let's go to Monaco as well. Monaco, you just kind of jumped in, I think, as a uh, as a replacement. Um, how did you feel about these games? Did you feel you could bring yourself in? And uh, are you happy to win? Uh, yeah, I mean, I we obviously we I participated with the team in in Rift Legends before, um, and I've been on a sort of three month hiatus, and I was basically just by chance on Discord, and they needed support. So this is my first game in three months, but it felt um, as usual. You know, we have final and py API doing the shot calls and. I mean, the, the, we've basically had the same core team for over a year, same manager two years. So uh, the system, you know, the system is still the same and we continue to do the same things. I think what was um, different today was um, we had a support main on top top lane. We had some challenges with, uh, <laughs> uh, with, uh, <laughs> uh, with champion pool. Uh, and so we had to be creative with the champion pool and, and, and at the end it worked out pretty well. It was really fun. I think the Lux pick was a big pick, yeah. but the, the Ash pick at least worked out way better than that with the arrows on uh, on on the AD carry. I think this AD carry had no fun playing the game ever. Mm. And yeah, um, uh, well, really, I think really uh, just to just to pick up on the Ash pick, uh, the the CDR build that we went on the Ash pick like doesn't even matter if Zaya has cleanse or or ult because when whatever she uses. Um, you know, at the end, this the Ash ult was 19 sec 19 one nine second cooldown. So it doesn't matter what they had, wh whether whether it was crown or cleanse or ultis. Yeah, me, uh, we me and always, in the always cast find as well. Every twenty seconds, we're like, okay, the next Ash ult is coming. Look, like Zaya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was basically the game plan. Worked out in the end. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Inducing depression on the poor enemy AD Gary. <laughs> what a strategy. Nabil is coming. Yeah, I would like to talk with Nabil as well. Maybe listening to him what uh, how he came to the Lux and the Ash pick in these certain games. I I'm disappointed we didn't see uh, his Amumu. <laughs> does he play Amumu top lane? Oh, he does play anything. Trust me. Gotta believe in him. Yeah, now we're different. He plays what he feels like every game. <laughs> Nabil's Nabil here. Hello, Nabil. Yeah, hello. hello. We know you just joined. We just joined the interview. Um, we were we were just talking about the Ash and the Lux a bit. Uh, what did you think about? Why did you pick these champions? And how did you feel you performed these games? Uh, I think I troll uh, Lux game. Like my build was completely shit, and I was so useless. <laughs> But I didn't know what to pick, so I just picked Lux. On the Ash game, it's like Final Rocks asking me to, to pick Ash on like R1 CD. Uh, so yep. yeah, just uh, just listen him on the e. pick Ash. Yeah, we saw it as well, as I talked about before already. This Ash has made the game for Xayah so incredibly miserable. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was not being able to play the game. Me and Hatsu were screaming in, in, in cast all the time. And the next Ash arrow, and the next one, and the next... You hit, like, nine Ash arrows on Xayah this game or something like this. Yeah. She could not play the game. Once she gets QSS, next 20 seconds she gets hit by the next one, and it's just dead. It was actually <laughs> really fun to watch. Uh I think my arrow have less cooldown than Xayah ult, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, it yeah, was way, way less. I, yeah, so yeah. I think it was worse if like I just use my first arrow, Xaya ult, and like next arrow I just use Xayah again and we kill. Mm -hmm. So I just very, call very, in very, in this I just call in this like uh, Xayah, Xayah, twenty second ult Xayah, or like we just just focus Xayah. Yeah, it was really disgusting, Navin. Like <laughs> uh, like you uh, like from our perspective it was so fun to watch. Like Nine ults. Uh, we counted. You, like you missed one because she ulted, but that's it. 
everything yeah. else you you hit. <laughs> yeah, I think also fair. like the ash damage, the ash ult damage is kind of underrated. Like it, pre it does pretty, pretty significant damage. Yeah, and yeah. I think my my build was not so good as well. I should buy black cleaver. I think as well. Mm -hmm. No. Yep. But uh, because yeah. your team had so much physical damage, would have helped the the bros out a lot. Mm. But yeah, it was a good game, close game. I hope you all enjoy. Yeah, we really yeah. enjoyed it, Nabil. We, we really, really enjoyed did. every single game. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, these games, every game was so back and forth. Like, I think both teams could win at any moment in any game. Like, it's the, game one, uh, game two in this case, was the first, at the start, I thought, like, okay, yeah, but I got with Sorkot, got this. But then even then, with like 13k gold lead, uh, team Feingraf and Muscon came back and made the game really, really exciting to watch again. So it, it looks like, it, it, if you look at the score, it looks like a bit of a stomp, but it definitely wasn't. It was really yeah, fun yeah. to watch. And um, yeah, I can't see to watch the cast of uh, of the YouTube stream as well to see how, how my fellow streamers reacted. I mean, after the first game, we had to ban Vlad on Lopec. He was yeah. just too strong. Actually, yeah, Lopec on the game with Vlad was insane. Yeah, 1v9 performance for sure. So I have to give props to Lopec for that performance. Kept his team in the game by himself. I appreciate the it. The performance was really good. Like, I think Lopec had some had some really good games in the series. Yeah, and, I think the uh, hack room the hack room was really uh, just trying something different. I guess after we didn't win the first two games, uh, like in competitive, I've only ever played mid lane, so it was a bit risky. But it's probably like my top champ for solo queue, so might as well give it a shot. It but to be honest, well. yeah, it worked out. It worked out. Like you're, you're, you're like we know you already for your uh, hackerim. So you played really well. Like really. I mean, I have to say that our team was together for like it's a mix of team like for three weeks before the tournament. Even the first game, we had zero games together. So we played our first game series like zero experience whatsoever together. And we won. Yeah. And then we played we were, one team. So we had basically zero experience together as a team. We were basically all the people that wanted to play in the tournament that didn't have a team. And we basically just got grouped together by Sam. And uh, we made something nice out of it and became friends. Yep. Yeah, what I want to say as well, we really saw your improvement. I think again, Hexus, I think you guys uh, struggled a lot. And I think uh, you uh, like. Um, and Hexus on paper looks like a worse team than Baguette with Sauerkraut. And it was same amount of close games almost like uh, but even this one week you guys had to prepare again and like think about how you want to play we see way more interactive gameplay i think again hexes both teams were just so passive not doing anything this time as well as from baguette or Sauerkraut, as well as your sides especially in game game three i think there was where the Brom Lucian got picked you guys were playing so proactively and aggressive which was really nice to see uh, the, every game was like two kills per minute or more this was one of the most fun series I've ever got to watch, and especially cast. So thanks a lot for this experience. It was really fun. It was still really close games. And I think you can be proud of yourself even if you lost. And obviously, congratulations to Team Bagat of Sauerkraut. You guys played really, really well as well and uh, deserve to win in the end. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. It was a nice game, GG's. Why, how do you feel? Think solo bolot by karma. Who who who? Who's he asking? <laughs> he asking to Paul, to Paul, I think. Oh, oh sorry, yeah, Paul. Yeah. Paul yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just bantered and said, "How do you feel?" I mean, I, I, I thought that didn't have to say anything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I didn't expect karma to deal that much damage, so I said that what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. He was he was screaming down the karma. Came up. <laughs> uh, anyways, it is. It was very fun. Not gonna lie. Yeah, thank you for being here for a little interview. It was really fun games to watch. I hope really fun games to play for the teams as well. And yeah, this concluded a wonderful series of tournaments and games and. Uh, 
thank you everyone for participating obviously it was really fun to watch really fun to cast i think every one of us had a blast of time especially with these last games and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and yeah thank you so and much best of luck to the teams that are participating in the uh, rift legends if you guys still play there best of luck to yeah, you there. hopefully i want to see find girlfriend from mystic on comeback in perch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe Just you go for it. Like maybe, but with a bit difference in the the team, in the comp. Different, different it... players. I'm not sure. All right. We'll I want to see you there. If I don't see you, we'll have problems. I get your number. <laughs> so problem. I mean, yeah, of I course. I, I played good. Okay. It's good. <laughs> I want Mozilla's number too. I want every caster's number. Put as, long, as long as Mysticon is single, we'll continue playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got a long journey ahead of you. Hey, what does that mean? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. So, to wrap this one up, to not steal any more of your time, thank you all for participating. Thank you all for coming by, stopping by, giving us the time to interview you. And again, was an amazing series of games, amazing series of a tournament, and maybe we'll see each other for another series of tournaments in the near future, who never knows. And with this, we conclude today's stream. And by the way, Mr. Gon, did you know that you won the Rift Guys MVP? Because, uh, well, you did perform quite well. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't. Oh, well, now you know. How are you I feeling? Have thank, I have to thank my mom, I have to thank my team for everything. They, they all played well, I don't think I deserved it. I think if Lopak applied, he would get it 100%. But he, just, he was like, nah, he, get, he left for me. He's yeah. just a real teammate. Yes, exactly. Or he doesn't want to, to, to get ghost by you, I don't know. You have to ask him. Yeah, maybe he's just angry with me. You never yeah, know. Maybe. It's solo, solo queue is a tough life nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, ah, thank you very much. Okay, with this, I will end the stream. Anyone who wants to leave, unless there's any other questions anyone has, you are free to ask right now. If not, it's going to be the end. I have no questions.